Testing, one, two, three, testing. Test your mom. I love her. You wanna, you wanna say that to her face? No, 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 please. Uh, you wanna Tita, say, I love you. Tita, I'm testing you right now. <laughs> uh, so disrespectful to your elders. I can't believe it. No, 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 I love, I love her. You love her? Why don't you marry I her? I will, I will. She's taken, I'm so sorry. Hmm. Mm. But yeah, here we go. Yay! So, have I explained to you why I, <laughs> why I'm doing uh, Valhalla? Um, isn't it for like a, a work thing, like a, a school a project? Yes, it's for an academic essay. Smiley face emoji, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, I guess one of the topics was relating to like how do how do games and uh, literature connect, and can be can games be considered literature? So. I ha so I'm gonna try to connect Valhalla to like, well, obviously a story-based game to like, can it be considered literature, and what makes it different from other forms of literature, especially in the digital space. So mm -hmm. that's the basic premise of what I'm gonna be trying to look for, you know, subconsciously in this game. But if you s see something being like, oh Annie, uh, this 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 can relate to your essay, I will gladly My hear you. Blues, blues. Okay, sure. Uh <laughs> Can you spot the essay material? <laughs> Is that a metaphor? <laughs> uh, this is what we call a simile. A simile is when you explicitly describe something as something else by using the conjunction as. That's Sick wonderful. as fuck is a conjunction. <laughs> Uh, and that's how you demonetize a video in like five yeah, seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube. Papa YouTube. Papa YouTube. It's all good though. It's all good. Okay. So, have you played through Valhalla before? Um, no, I haven't. You haven't? Mm. Good to know. Do we even. Oh, cute. Yeah. It, everything's like. Everything's cute. It's adorable. Sukaban Games. Apparently, there was going to be a second game called Nirvana. Oh. That was... They announced that a while back. It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, how while back? Uh, Let's just say a few years. Maybe a couple few. Oh. This game has been out since 2016. I think it was announced in 2019. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. This game's almost a decade old. What the fuck? That feels weird. Like, we're two years away from this. Wait, have you played this game before? I've played through the entirety of it before, but I gotta refresh my memory. So let's go through uh... the... Apparently there's a prologue in Anna. Shall we go through that first? Yeah, sure. It's like unrelated to the main story from what I remember. Oh, Anna's the demo. Uh, what do you want to go through? Anna, Anna is the demo? Yeah. Uh, is it any? I don't think we need to go through a demo. It's completely different from like the main game, from what I remember. Okay, fuck it. Demo it is. Okay. Demo it up, baby. Oh, you should be Jill, I guess. Okay. And then I'll try to voice any additional characters that come in. Okay. Wait, who says who's Jill? Me? You? Yeah, you're Jill. You're Jill. Okay. Okay. Man, such a slow night. Hmm. At least I'm not serving dogs. Normally, this would be this would be where a dog shows up like a cheap punchline. Ha 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 ha. I guess not. Speaking of dogs, I wonder where the hell is Gil. Ah, uh, should I voice Dana? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <sighs> Bored. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, did I wake you? I, I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were open. You weren't. You went to college, right? You know, having your eyes open means nothing. Don't worry, I won't blame you. It's been a really long time since we had such a slow night. In fact, I think the last time we had a night like this was before you started working here. Really? Yeah, bitch. Uh, yeah, it oh. happened to- <laughs> Goddamn, yo, fuck you, get out of my bar. 
<laughs> she owns the bar. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it happened when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee. Poor idiot bought a levitation potion and threw him off of the building. Oh. As it turned out, the potion was act it actually worked. Come again? He started rising in the air and couldn't stop. They later found his body smeared across the snows, oh, the snows, the nose of a commercial flight that was on its way to Kanyevania. Kany that Kanyevania. one, that one place. You know Kanyevania. that one? Yeah, I know yeah. the one. I think I do. But anyways, should you really dismiss that so easily? We didn't have a single client that night. Not even the lost soul asking for directions. But then suddenly, a kid showed up. He was obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to jump him. Damn. I decided to let him work or <laughs> oh. let him order something. I gave him one. This is, oh god, my English is gonna be put to work here. Uh, car, carmatrine free drink. I mean, even if I was letting him order, I wasn't about to give an alcohol to an underage boy. Good on her. Good on her. <laughs> and then, when the time came for him to pay for his tab, he realized he didn't have enough money. He then yanked his shirt over his head started screaming he's a ghost and tried to escape. So I so I kicked him so hard that he flew out of the bar and told him ghosts shouldn't feel pain. Huh. Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Who the fuck do you think I am? Of course I did. No, okay. Of course not. I just gave him a warning and made him wash a couple, just, a couple of dishes. The fact that he even thought for a moment that I would kick a young, innocent child hurts my feelings to the end, you know? Anyways, just keep it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. I sure hope so. Hold on. Come to think of it, aren't Gil's checks made out to Robert? No. <laughs> <sighs> well, at least that story killed a couple of minutes. I think I'll... I don't know. Sort the glasses here or something? Huh. We had a fedora shaped glass. Oh my god. When's the last time you heard about a fedora? I know, I know. Oh god, here's the Um, anyone here? Uh, sorry, I'll I'll be right Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Um, I'm obviously under age. Pronouns, you better not serve pronouns. Me. <laughs> uh, they, they, something wrong? Are you sure you're old enough to drink? Yeah, I just dress like this because I want to feel young. You know, I'm actually uh, like 50 I years old. Well, seeing how old, I'm old enough to eat solid food, I guess I'm. I guess that drinking won't be a problem. You know, that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to drink. I just turned 21 not too long ago, actually. This takes place in America. We pinpointed yeah, doctor <laughs> right now. Hmm. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Still don't believe me? Well, what do you need me to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. What's this deja vu feeling, though? Have you been in this place before? <laughs> Have I? It's fine. Don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. Sure. Coming right up. She wants a sugar rush. She looks a bit too young, though. How do I play this game again? <laughs> I'll start I navigating music. Start browsing. How do I browse? Ah, it's like Cooking Mama. Wait, hold on. Uh, shit, I forgot. I know sugar rush can contain a lot of alcohol or no alcohol. Do you, is that an actual drink? Uh, no, but I'm supposed oh. to have like recipes here. Do you see a button for recipes? Use the navigation bar to start browsing. Oh, oh there he is. Uh, by name. Uh, S. Sugar Rush. Two aldehyde, aldehyde and one powdered delta. Optional car, carmotrine, carmotrine. You gonna give her alcohol or not? I'm a responsible adult. All mixed. How do I mix? Success. Oh, here. 
You're Jill. <laughs> no. Yeah, 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 whatever. Thanks. Hold on. This doesn't have any alcohol, does it? Nope. We were responsible. We're responsible results. I'd be a great bartender at a gay bar. At a gay bar. You really think I'm underage, don't you? Yep. I'll have you know I'm old enough to get pregnant. Uh. That's like 13. <laughs> it's true, though. That's sadly not relevant here. I'm old enough to get you pregnant. Oh. Ugh. On oh, second thoughts, this is actually good. Uh, I mean, don't underestimate me. Do you really think I look that young? I do, but not young enough to be considered underaged. Yeah, just ask for an ID and you get it over so quickly. For real. Then why don't you give me alcohol? Well, the music just because got tense for no reason. <laughs> I wanted to mess with you. Mess with a client? Do you usually do that? Oh yeah, my boss kicked the kid the other day. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only if it looks like they might take it to their take it into their stride. Still, why are you so angry at the idea? I might have, I might think you look young. Th that's. I mean, the only people who don't like being mistaken for someone younger are young people. Oh, true. Mhm. Mm but to be fair, we still look older than ninety-five percent of our regulars. Uh, that's. That would mean you serve drinks to people who look like. 13 years old or something. Yep. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this out of the way. Please show me your ID. There we go. That drink better been on the house. This doesn't help. <laughs> 20, 50 pound? They run out of numbers? Isn't yeah, that year? I, I guess so. Now they started using asterisks. Sure. Hmm. Seems everything's in order, Miss Anna. Graham? It's actually pronounced Gop. It's actually pronounced. Uh, it, it, it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying that. Anna G. Where have I heard that name before? Hmm. Go ahead. Just try to make a joke if you haven't heard yet. Wait, just try to make a joke I haven't heard yet. What joke could you make? I don't know. I'll politely refuse. No, I'm serious. Go ahead. People think it's too easy, so they never make jokes about my name. What What joke? Is that a joke? It's hard to make a joke about her name? I don't know. I'm still going to politely refuse. Pussy. You're no fun. So, yeah, well, what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name? You saw my name. I have the right to know yours. Fair enough. I'm Jill. Basic ass bitch. What? Alright, con. <laughs> Jill what? Just Jill. Yeah, but you what's your full name? We you even know, God, you know the ass bitch. Just call me Jill. I'll just pretend Jill is a way of saying your name. It's actually Johanna <laughs> What? Johanna Ignacia Laurent Laurent Lone. That's okay. so complicated. Hold on one second. Jill Jill. Oh yeah. I'm actually curious. I'm hoping the, the music isn't too loud in-game because I tried to turn it down before. Can you check stream to see if it's too loud? I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to start yapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Fortnite. Too loud? Did you see it or no? <laughs> testing, 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 it test. <laughs> You think that'll be too long? You think it's fine? Should be okay. Mm. If anything, I'll turn it I down think later. So, yeah. Okay. Actually, I think I'll just show it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Yeah, it does. Say, Joe, this place looks awfully desolate. Joe, she says. So she says. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. Damn. I sure hope your bar doesn't get closed down in the future. Yeah, well, I'm actually glad you showed up. I was getting, I was growing bored as hell. I mean, it's not like we're always bustling with activity, but this is unusual, even for here. So, I take it this isn't a popular place then. Oh. 
What the hell? Sorry, sorry. Uh. You did. <laughs> we have a regulars, but we're not like the barns of the main street. Still, I like this place. It's comfy and I don't know. It makes me feel safe. That's the most you can ask. Weird. For. Yeah, I mean, at a bar. I feel that way too, but fun. yeah, that's super strange. But this place usually gives off the opposite impression. Can't blame them though. This isn't exactly the best part of the city. That's a shame. I really liked how isolated this place felt. Bitch, what the fuck? You can't hear the sounds of the city in here. It's nice. It's almost if I scream, no one could hear me. <laughs> but then again, you could say I have some experience with isolated places. So it might just be nostalgia. What the fuck? What's, this girl's weird. Mm. Nostalgia, huh? You freak. <laughs> Speaking of coming in here, now that I think about it, you didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. Why didn't you do it if you're just so suspicious? Well, firstly, I was bored. Figures. And second, I felt like you were of legal age. That's not gonna hold up in court. Um, how? We've had a lot of kids come and thinking they can get away with ordering a drink, but they're too nervous or jumpy. Oh, so true. It's all about confidence. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they're dealing with. What if they're not like that, but still underage? If they at least look like they're above legal age, I would be able to live with myself, I guess. That's fucked. I don't give them anything if I know they're still kids, but hey, I'm bound to be fooled sometime. So I'm guessing I wasn't jumpy? Yep. I see. Hey, Joe, now that you know I can drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Hmm. Give me something sweet. Sweet? Sure. Looks like we get a broader choice, so I'll let you choose this one. Ooh. Ooh. We could just give her another sugar rush. <laughs> no. Sparkle Star. Sparkle Star? Two. Wait, let me see. Two aldehyde, one powdered. You already started it, bro. What the hell? I mean, I can restart it. Oh, okay. Go back. I want to sound of that one. Oh, uh, wait, what, wait, wait that's not sweet anymore. Uh, sweet things. Uh, what's the blue fairy? Four aldehyde, one and one optional chemistry. $170. Jesus Maybe. Christ. Inflation, man. I don't like this one. Go back. Okay. That don't. Uh, moon blast. Six out of hide, one powdered delta, one lantern guide, and two cardamom. Cardamom. This one. Wait, this one? Yeah. Wait, I'm, I could have sworn that. Hold on. It's trigger rush. Two out of hide, one powdered delta, optional op car carmotrine. Two out of hide, one powdered delta. Oh, this Is one. the same drink? No, no, this one's aged. Whatever that means. Mm. I just leave it out on the counter for a little bit. What is it? Moonblast? Actually, no, you know what? Sparkle Star. I should like the Trigger Rush like that, right? I guess so. Out of hide, aged, powdered delta, all mixed. Do, should we put alcohol? Yeah, I think so. How much? One? You know we can max it out, right? <laughs> What's insane? Why? Uh, you know, you never. You, no, I think she's. Not you that she thinks her? she's so. <laughs> yeah. Now that oh, you think God. she's so tough, we can just like, you know, spike her with so much alcohol. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't think they mentioned it before, but the carmatrine is the alcohol content. Yeah. So just one? Just one. Say less. Margo Star coming up. Ooh, yummy. One sweet drink. Thanks. You know, if all drinks were like this, I'd be afraid of turning into an alcoholic. We just put mm -hmm. one bit of alcohol. Just sprinkled <laughs> a little bit. Please don't joke about that. <laughs> I'm already one. How can you say that? You're oh. a bartender. Bartender doesn't want her clients to become alcoholic. Just like how personal trainers don't want their trainees to turn into some steroid junkies. They don't? Mm. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Still, there's this, this one's really nice. Hey Joe, do you drink? I suppose. Yeah, it'd be weird for a bartender not to drink, you know? I don't know. I don't know. 
I've met. <laughs> I don't know why that got me into like the anime voice. I've met dentists with bad teeth. Bartenders who don't drink totally, drink totally would make sense. That's silly. It'd be like a vegan chef running a barbecue restaurant. Oh, I know that one. You think? Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink whatever it is that you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Huh. Yeah, I guess that's true. A dentist might have bad teeth, but he could still be working in dentistry. But why bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? See? Hmm. Hmm. Something wrong? No, I just like imitating a microwave. I just noticed oh. that you haven't said my name yet. Beep, beep, beep. Me too. I haven't... What? Aside from when you read my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called you out yours like a gazillion times by now. The wrong name, though. Well, I haven't had the need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. What say kind of my kink name. Is this? Don't give in. Why? Say my name. 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 Ugh. Anna. Anna what? <laughs> one more time. Anna? Yes. Now one more time. What a, what? What a fucking weird girl. Nana. It happened again. Maybe you need glasses? And there's that feeling again. Did you see someone glitch out in the past? Oh, come on. Why did you want me to say your name? I like hearing people call me by my name. It feels personal and fuzzy. What a fucking weird girl. Oh my god. Yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit... Quirky? Silly? Goofy? Creepy. I don't know about that. There's this... There's this certain someone who would wake me up in the morning saying my name. Your name is important. Once you know someone's name, the gap between you and that person disappears. Is that true? I don't know you. Once you give names to things, you start seeing them as important members of your family. So what if it's creepy? It's still nice. Uh... That's like a stalker mm. definition. <laughs> yeah. Stop calling me Joan. I'll use my name then. Say, Anna, can I ask you something? You called me by name. You called me by my name, so sure. My little bitch. <laughs> about your oh, you're arm. A whore. <laughs> <laughs> what about it? Oh yeah, I'm lacking one. Did saying the word creepy remind you of its absence? I, I could not tell. Oh, whoa. Oh, Damn. Whoa. Actually, I've been wanting to ask you about it since you came in. At least be comfortable for a second. I'm trying to get you... Trying to get a eyes out of you. Sheesh. So, what is it? How did I lose it? If it's not too personal... Back in Nom. Back in Cyber oh, Nom. <laughs> it isn't. I'm actually quite proud of the tale. Uh, why? You're looking at a proud survivor of nanomachine rejection. Really? I thought that was something Dr. Detective while a fetus is still in the womb. Yes and no. There's actually two types of nanomachine rejection syndrome. The first one is the most common. They usually detect it while you're still a fetus. That's when they turn you into a cat boomer. A what? The other one sometimes appears when in teenage years. It's incredibly rare, but it's still possible. So that arm? Yeah, I lost it in a car crash. <laughs> <laughs> Nanomachine rejection basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping apart. Your organs malfunction. I was lucky. In the end, all I lost was an arm and a heart full of toes. Get it? A handful? My bad. Uh, because yeah, I lost five. <clears throat> Anyways, I have a prosthetic arm, but in the ma but it's in maintenance right now. Ah, I see. It's a bit weird being without it. I still feel like it's there. Sometimes I still feel it aching. Why do we keep on fighting? Just a couple hours ago, I tried to grab something and I just stood there, thinking my arm was doing something. But anyways, 
I mind getting mind getting me another drink? We keep talking about my stump after that. Um, right. What do you want? Let's try something classy. It's a bit weird being in a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. No, all right. I mean, I'm just good with the, the pints of beer. I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Literally with you. drink, yeah, drink whatever the fuck you want. Like it's the classy, bar, right? Classy. Okay. A bad touch. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested for this one. God. Uh, a French Reaper sounds good. One aldehyde, nine. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus, no! You're gonna kill her. One, two, three. Oh my God! Four, five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine. We're done the nine. It's sizzles. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. All this right. is how we get her You're to insane. spill the beans about her arm. For what? She doesn't have an arm. We need about her <laughs> her lack of arm. Here. Sorry. This, this looks expensive. All right, I'm starting to have second thoughts now. Pussy, you should have been more specific about your drinks. Oh my god. Just drink it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel dizzy. That's nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Look what you did! Is it? Of course. I spent so much time in hospitals and whatnot. But now, I'm just living my life, you know? I want to feel g the good and the bad. No more being forced to sit quietly in a quarantine room. I feel like you're trauma dumping. Yeah, I can get that. So it all started back in high school. <laughs> Alright, wait, quarantine? Yeah, did you know? I have an infectious disease. <laughs> 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 type, two, type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put into special chambers free from nanomachine particles in the air. That prevents them from being assimilated and aggravating their whole situation. To be fair, not all my memories were of that chamber, uh, of my chamber, were all that bad. I mean, I did spend three to four years in one of those places. Really? That long, huh? Well, I didn't just go for genetic level treatment, so it was longer and a lot less expensive. I'm not going to complain, though. I'm alive thanks to all of that. And I left with so many fond memories, too. There's this one time I was in the uh, hospital, and then the guy right next to me died. Oh. Ah, so that's what you meant by the whole... Feeling nostalgic and isolated places thing. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just Look dizzy. what you did. Look, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm pretty sure this is scripted. Hey, Joe, if I ordered two drinks, would you be willing, be willing to share one with me? No. Come again? I'm pretty sure bartenders are allowed a limit of, like, two drinks mm. for the night. Or, like, two shots, I think. To be honest, talking about treatment and all, that made me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if it's not something you can do, but I had to ask. It's not something I normally do, but... Eh, what the hell. Sure. Really? Yay. Yippee! Yippee! Alright then, I want a piano man and a piano woman. On it. This feels like a proposal. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. Piano... Uh... P. Piano Man. Two aldehydes, three uh, Bronson extract, five powdered delta, three carmotrine, all on the rocks, and mixed. Slot two. Wait, did I fuck up? Where did I mess up? How do you know you messed up? Uh, that's not a Piano Man. <laughs> oh, God. Wait. Adahide, three Bronson, five powdered Delta. Oh, I missed the the flanner guide. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, one, two. All on the rocks and mix. There we go. Slot two. Going to Piano Woman. Originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain it should be a Piano Woman if there was a Piano Man. Feminism! Let's go! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Two powder delta. Three flanner guide. Three karma tree. Uh, all aged and mixed. All right, so who's getting who? Who's getting what? Two, two drinks. Which one do you want? 
Do you prefer the man or the woman? Um, uh, are you gay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine with either, really. She's bisexual. Yes. Okay, I'll pick the woman then. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Alright, this is getting weird. I said, cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> Are you okay? You're such a bum. You're such a bummer. Mm. Hey, Joe, why do you think bad things happen? That's a deep question. Yeah, that's a sudden question. How so? If there's a god, why do you think bad things happen? <laughs> <laughs> Are you in a contemplative mood or something? Kind of. Huh. I remember a conversation in college where a classmate said we gave God too much flack. How so? Well, let's imagine a place where virtually nothing bad happens. If an experience doesn't one up the last good thing you enjoyed, you'll feel like it was a bad one. Even if you lived Even in a, if you oh, lived in a place... <laughs> That's me, that's mine! I'm sorry, I just started reading the text at the bottom, you know, it just, it's up there. <laughs> it's down there. It's down, my bad. Even if you lived in a place where every good thing was one up by an even better good, past events have seemed bad. Um, eh? Well, let's say you have chocolate. I love chocolate. I like chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> I'm becoming her. Everyone does, yeah. <laughs> my mom doesn't. Then she's a rare case. She also doesn't like pizza. Is she even human? I mean, sorry. No, uh, she's dead. Damn it, where was I? Chocolate. Right. If you only got good chocolate, a slightly less good chocolate would taste awful. Yeah, I could see that. And if you only got chocolates that tasted better each time... Then the chocolates you ate in the past would worsen in memory. Oh, okay. Ooh, yeah, now I get it. So, yeah, sometimes bad is just a matter of contrast. That still doesn't justify where bad things happen like death, though. Hmm. I don't know. My line. <laughs> you heard me croak for a second. Or yeah. So. <laughs> Maybe we're just too concerned with smaller plants to look at the bigger picture. <laughs> Maybe that death will trigger something else in the future. If there's reincarnation, maybe that person needed maybe that person is needed somewhere else. Maybe the world works in entirely different ways and we're limited by human reasoning. I don't know. I'm just a bartender. If there's someone asking about the metaphysical nature of death, it's not me. <sighs> Sometimes you just yap too much. <laughs> Sometimes I think God is just a dick. Giving me a disease, allowing me to survive it, but depriving me of my, of my special someone, huh? Uh, do you need context for all of that? The special someone, I mean. I'll connect the dots eventually. Keep talking. You're obviously venting some stuff there. <laughs> Alright then. It's like God's... I don't know. It's like he's some edgy writer who likes having his characters suffer. I take solace in the reasoning because I start expecting bad things. What if you're looking at it from the wrong angle? How so? Main characters usually have this tragic backstory that we never really see in the beginning. Something that helps them move on, that gives them motivation to power through the plot. Maybe you're not living the girth of your story yet. Living the Maybe this is your Shut up. Maybe <laughs> this is your back here getting set. Who knows what the future holds for you? <laughs> girth. <laughs> That'd, <No>. be <laughs> That'd be nice. At least better than my old outlook. Yeah, I think I like it a lot. I'm going to start thinking that way now. Today, my origin story ends and my actual narrative begins. Not the spirit. Thanks, Joe. I feel a lot better. I'll be here for you near. Glad to know that. What are you, my therapist? What the hell? Yeah, tip me. I have to leave. Bye, no Joe. Tip. Did she even pay for a drink? Please come again. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't even say the, the money I get. I will. 
Oh, that was an entertaining diversion. Ah, oh, boss. What happened? I... I... Wait, how did I do it? I came to ask you that. Huh? You just spent an hour talking to yourself. No, I didn't. There's a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. I was actually coming to tell you that you were going... That we're going to close for tonight. And there you were. Yapping. Yapping and yapping and yapping. A spirit to talk to. Th that can't be. She paid for her drink. The registry says the money came from your account. You're delusional. You're but, mentally ill. Oh, fuck. All the drinks I served her. You mean the liquid that someone who is definitely not going to be me has to clean off the floor? But I... Jill, you're worrying me. Are you okay? The last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Hmm. Are you sure that there wasn't anyone else here? I even checked the security cameras. You were here by yourself that whole while. Hmm. Maybe you're tired. You probably were just sleep talking really intensely or something. And so why why do you think bad things happen? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'll drive you home. Maybe I just need a rest. Or maybe you just need a rest. Maybe you just need a rest. Shut yeah. the fuck up before I fire ass. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Trauma, trauma, trauma. <laughs> oh god. It's all about trauma. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I still find the game a bit too loud. I could have sworn. That should be better, I think. Okay, uh... I guess we can go through the prologue. Yeah! Yeah! Yippee! <laughs> Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. That fucking huh? dick. <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, what about Gil? He, mu he mumbled about something about holes and pests and asked for a couple of days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean, us, not Gil. Business will be a tad different through the weekend. We got booked. That's the new one. Who made the booking? The Selfar Toy Company. They make toys for dogs. Their name, it's their anniversary or something like that. So they booked a bar in a shady part of the town. Yeah, we don't... We usually don't reserve the bar. Why do it this time? Good money. The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know about? They're all dogs. You're right. They'll give, they'll give you a ticket for to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Sure. Well then. Uh, ooh, we get to choose songs. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Th this is a lot of songs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, okay. L let me know if you see any songs. I, I want to play Drive Me Wild. Uh, Good Health, Bad Four. <laughs> Will You Remember Me? All systems go. Umamoto. Umamoto? All systems go is good if I remember. Neo Avatar, A Rene, Snowfall, Synthet, 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 Synthet mm -hmm. Stitch, what the fuck? Answer Lies Within, Reminiscence. Oh, uh, let's do Digital Drive, Cometry and Dream. Oh, we could probably replace a few of these. Let's do. Do you have, do you have a preference? Hmm. Nope. Okay, let's try Base of the Titans. Probably not gonna fit. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> <laughs> Lord Pumple Rump? Um, excuse me, I'll have a grizzly temple. Uh, Hello? A dog. A talking dog. Are you at the Safar Toy Company? 
Yeah. Did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. A grizzly temple, right? Coming right up. This dog wants a grizzly temple. Yo, what the dog doing for real? What was it, grizzly? Yeah. Three aldehyde. Tell me the recipe and I'll just make it. Three, three, one carmo. Three, one carmo. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh, blended? Yeah, all blended. So blended, I have to keep it shaking until... I don't know, this is all blended. There we go. It's supposed to shake there up. There you go. Yeah. I know what I said. Sometimes a wrong drink can be the right... What? Was that not a grizzly temple? What? Was it not? I just got an achievement that says sometimes a wrong drink can be the right thing. Oh. Oops. This is gonna be a long weekend, isn't it? Oh god. <laughs> Am I gonna do all the dogs? I guess. Okay, hold on. And hey, is this brown sun extract here produced with organic fruits? I don't know that information. Fucking bitch. Anyone I can talk oh, to God. about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand. You mean on paw? Every BTC certified bar is no different from a fast food chain. We have the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. You're saying long words. I don't understand. But you should- Your dog. But we don't. Saying that we should over and over, it's not gonna change the reality. Oh, well, bam! Now you do. <laughs> Give me something with a lot of brown sun extract then. Damn, okay. Okay. Uh, do we know anything that has a lot of brown sun? I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll look through it. So, it's two, zero. Just clear all of them, yeah. Or right, two, two, one. Two, one. None. Yellow. Yellow, one, one three, no. five, five, six. six. Okay, six is Mars Blast? No. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, six, three, five. Keep Mars Blast in mind. Yeah. Mars Blast Mars it is. Blast. Uh, Mars Blast. Tell me the recipe. Six then... Bronson. One okay. Powder Delta. Yep. Four Finder Guide. One, two, two Camotrine. All blended. Karma Spicy, manly, strong. Yep, blended. Okay, blended. So, uh, you come here, dog. Come here often. Uh, hi, um, come here you often, come here dog. often? Here you go. Here. Oh, that's you. Why am I saying it? <laughs> oh my god. What the hell is this? What? I, am I fucking high? You are. She said a lot of Bronson, right? Yeah. Your order. This is what Bronson extract tastes like? Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorta. Yeah. Well, fuck that noise. It's not worth the effort. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. Oh my God. Oh God. <sighs> no, it's not. Oh, okay. Uh, Ooh, hello. Oh, I can use a voice effect. What should I use? Oh, oh cool. Excuse me. Oh, thank God, a person. Is this what? Is it working? <laughs> it is working. Okay, good. Well, as much as a person as a designated driver can be. What I mean is, why are there so many dogs? <laughs> why dogs? Why? Why not dogs? You fucking dogophobic? Yeah. Um... You dogging on them right real quick? <laughs> oh my God. Well, the Corgis create us up. So created the Sid for Toy Company, and they're doing a great job, so... A company run exclusively by dogs. Really? And get ones at that. The only problem is that they have a not-so-discreet performance for hiring corgis exclusively. What I'm saying is, they're racist. Oh. Why? Something about being more comfortable around their own kind? Oh. Like I said, racist. Are you with them? You're not a corgi. Well, you don't know that. What are you, a racist? Uh, well, I do prefer corgis, but... No, I mean, are you working with them? 
Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? Why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. Designated driver woes aside, it's the closest thing to heaven. Although, to be fair, it's not much of a drinker. I'm not much of a drinker anyways. I see. Well, teach their own. Are you gonna drink anything? The hell I just said. You got milk? Oh you have anything non-alcoholic? Let's see what I can fetch you. <laughs> Get it? Fetch. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. I've never heard of a joke in my life. No, seriously, did you intend to make that pun? I have no clue. I'm... I'm a... I'm a I, I, I don't know what I am. Help. <laughs> uh, I remember Sugar Rush was non-alcoholic. Yeah. Optional, yeah. Two aldehyde, one powdered delta. Oh, right. Uh, how much cardamine should I put for the designated Nine driver? You're silly. <laughs> That's so messed Here. up. Okay, hold on. Yep. Thanks. Uh, thanks. Sorry. Uh, for some reason, my voice box glitched. Yeah, gosh. Yeah, so unprofessional of me. You sure this isn't alcoholic? You wouldn't want a bunch of corgis to die, now would you? Pretty sure. Okay. Listen, I need to know. Is it really going to be only corgis today? Is that all Is I'm going to do? Is this all I'm going to do all night? Oh, my life! <laughs> I'm sorry, the text is right there. I can see it right They're below the you. the same kind of dog over and over? The vast majority of the them are... The vast majority of them from... Yeah, you like that? You like that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bitch. These are my lines. You don't even know my name yet. These are my subtitles. Your name's not question mark, question mark, question mark. No. Maybe. Don't check my ID. <laughs> the vast majority of them are Pem Pembroke Welsh Corgis. There are a couple of Cardigan Welsh Corgis. But the relationship between the two breed is a tad difficult to say to say Cardigans weren't invited. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dog all night. You fucking racist. No, I mean... Isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come to get Don't, don't come today. I can't believe she real come, oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Is that a problem somehow? <laughs> it's not really a problem. We've survived worse than this. Like, that time when an AA meeting came asked, here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only? <laughs> why would a not- why would an alcoholics a not- I mean, why would an alcoholics anon, anon, anonymous- that one- that one group that doesn't want to drink any more alcohol come to an alcohol place? <sighs> but- I, <laughs> I had a stroke. I was just thinking about the fact that I'm serving do drinks to dogs. That at some point- all the choices in my life led to me serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. Like I said, you're racist, or like, uh, I'm getting good signals here. I mean, no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's one of those memories that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going, you know? Do you perhaps not like this job? I do. I love every second of this job, but dogs... So you are racist. I'm going to keep calling you a racist until you clear it up. It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. And that doesn't sound half bad. I still don't see what your problem is with dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. In the corner, please excuse me. Oh, well, this is the stuff for playing pool is underneath the table. You know what else you can do underneath the table? <laughs> I don't understand. Whatever, there are also darts in the box next to the jukebox if you want to be really spicy with it. Thanks. Great. Thanks for the information. Oh, you need another drink. Sure. Is this the same person? I can't remember. Oh, oh God, maybe I'm the racist. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm feeling... It's a lady. Okay. I'm feeling happy, so I'll get around for everyone. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a French Reaver. Coming right up. 
<laughs> That's so bad. <laughs> One aldehyde, nine carmatrine. That's a lot. All aged and mixed. Aged and mixed. French Reaver coming up. Mm hmm. Here you go. Still an awesome day. I'm sorry. Oh my god. Their name? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna write this in your your essay. Uh, so when dog fucker, I mean when dragon <laughs> fucker came to the stage, that really spoke something about literature. <laughs> really set the mood. It really set the mood on what kind of game this is gonna be. <laughs> Yo, what's an alpha male gotta do to get some service? What may I serve you? Beer and quickly. Coming right up. Oh, this dog wants a beer. One aldehyde, two bronze and extract, one powder delta, two flanger hide, uh, four chromatrine, all mixed. Beer coming up. Hmm. Here you are. Bam, you slow piece of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they're not tipping me. It's a free bar. No, but like, even if it's a free bar, you still tip the bartender. Hey, my line. <laughs> I skipped it. Uh, something, something, something. Uh, what's wait, the opposite wait. Hey, of boss, deja I'm vu? Wait, I'm gonna look, look at the, 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 the YouTube video. Fuck. Hey, boss, what was the opposite of deja vu again? Je ma vu. Hold on. Let me yeah, that. Je ma vu. Yeah, that. <laughs> Oh god. Switching between voice effects is again. Are you having a premonition? Something like that. The dog felt uncannily familiar. Are you still bored? No, really. Finish yourself off in that corner? Yeah, it was great. Not really. I was playing with the darts a little bit ago. And then a dog came and interrupted me. I thought we were pl about playing pool, but all the other clients are dumb challenged. Hmm. Sorry if this sounds rude, but why was the dart so dusty? You're the first person in the year or so that I've been here that actually paid the darts. I think even my boss would not be interested. By the way, how are the dogs are cl as clients? We've had worse. Really? Worse than do a dragon fucker? Worse than dragon fucker. Have you had someone come in and not share us to pieces? Yes. She was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. With anodets like those, you think about ser you think serving Dr. would feel totally normal. <laughs> Excuse me. You'd be wrong because even then, we were talking about humans. I mean, uh... I mean, I mean, I <laughs> mean. Don't get me wrong. I've served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come in with someone, and they never talk. Now that I think about it, are these drinks bad for dogs? Now you worry about that. But no, they aren't. Only cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink those chemicals. I'm sorry, cappuccino what? Cappuccino monkeys, you know. Anyway, no, I don't. you want anything to drink? Well, you know, it's fine. Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Sure. So, what else can you serve me? Nope. Nope. Oh, uh, that one, yeah. Bleeding Jane. One Bronson Extract, three Powder Delta, three Flanner Mead. One Bronson, one, three Powder Delta, three Flanner Mead. Uh, I'll blend it. That's it. Oh. No, we fucked it up. Oh, uh, was that for me? <laughs> One, three, three. All blended. Damn, this is taking eight. a while. Here you go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk with their collars, right? Yeah, that's right. Have you ever seen the movie Up? Oh, how do they work? Same with Up? I don't know. It's not too hard, really. They're just translators. They read the dog's brain and turn their thoughts into words. 
do keep in mind that today's dog breeds are a bit more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translator on, if you put translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do on the, like they do now. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question: Why do they wear those small tuxedos? Because it's cute. It's good oh. for PR. You don't say. I do say. Well, it's a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes. Why the fuck do these dogs want to want to get drunk? Do you not want to get drunk whenever you're done with your work? Come on. Uh... They say humans do it, and they think it might be fun. Just like teens, then. Now, if you excuse me. All right. Gonna go jack it in the corner again. Okay. Toodaloo. <laughs> Satan's helper. I guess I should have like different. I should have like a different voice since it's like a it's a collar thing. Hold on. What can I serve you? Moon. Oh. Excuse me. Moon. <laughs> a moon blast. Moon. A big moon blast. Moon. All right. This dog wants a big moon blast. Moon. <laughs> Six aldehyde, one power delta, one planner did, one, two carbon retreats. One planner, oh, six aldehyde, one power delta, one plan, two caramel. All, all on rocks in London, sorry. <laughs> six, one, six aldehyde, one power delta, one plan, two karma. Rocks, London. Okay, I had to like rethink. This is so much. Here. Oh, it was supposed to be big. We're supposed to double the recipe for big uh, drinks. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a free bar. They won't give a shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> was that a good moon or a bad moon? I, I would assume it's a bad moon. I'm gonna be honest, how do the fuck do you say this? I don't know. Good luck. Okay. Are you from Brooklyn? A certain crevice spike? Sure. Oh yeah, you're so I was a kid too. <laughs> that was a crevice spike. <laughs> How'd I do? <laughs> Two power delta, floor planner, optional caramo, all blended. Yeah. Oh my god! Jesus! Oh my god! I think that's enough alcohol. No, that's the cry, cry. Is that the same thing? Cry yeah. Oh, yeah, crevice, crevice spike. spike. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't think you can fit crevice spike in there? I don't know. Who knows? Eerie. Underappreciated drink. There's a drink nobody asked for. That's why I don't remember that drink in the game. That's so funny. Alright, one more drink before we wrap things up. What do you want? I'm not picky. Give me anything. Uh, of course. Anything, you said. Anything. With alcohol. So, what are you gonna give me? Are you gonna God. give him anything? What do you think? What are you thinking? Uh. Uh. Too fast? No, this one. Sparkling star? Do we give him this one? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Do all one delta. All aged mix. Aged mix. Sparkling star coming right up. Yeah. Here you are. Thanks. So. What exactly do you do? Sorry if it's rude to ask. I thought I already explained that I was a designated driver. That's my full job. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm what people call an office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, and that sort of stuff. But 
this being a dog run company, there's a lot more responsibilities. I have to pick up after them, I have to, uh, you know, bathe them, all that jazz. Like getting stuff off the shelves and opening windows. At least they pay well. I see. And how did you end up in that position? Where'd you get that offer? My mother was actually a dog. Oh. My neighbor's the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed thumbs. Figures? No, thumbs, not figures. Oh. <laughs> they are celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah. Five years ago, the Corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of the existing doi do doi 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 So they mailed in this company. <laughs> and they mailed the money with their owners, if I remember correctly. I can see that happening. Somehow. The SDC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started as self for toy development. Ain't that unfortunate. Who? Dorothy. Do you want to do Dorothy? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Hello? Hmm? The bar's favorite sweetheart has arrived. <laughs> Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. Oh, my bad. <laughs> my, my, my claps are robotic too. <laughs> this isn't a sitcom. Ah, uh, honey, how innocent. Um, excuse me, you are... Do you work at the company? I'm the lovely Dorothy Hayes at your sir... Wait, you're a Lilim. Not at your service, then. What? <laughs> what? Are you, are, are you racist? Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kind of? I've been coming here religiously for the past three months now. Three months! I came here to see your charming face, and you seem just kind of a regular? That doesn't seem that long. I'm gonna be honest with you. For shame, honey. For shame. I'm sorry, I guess. Nothing free drink won't sell. Won't do. Huh? You playing hard to get? Ugh. Even if I wanted to give you a drink, we're booked for the whole weekend. Yeah, wasn't the door locked? <laughs> Don't you got a bouncer <laughs> outside or something? Yeah, who fucking ro runs this place? Don't you think you should at least put a sign out front or something? Hey, I only found out myself just a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least only 40% organic, I would give you a discount. Discount? You don't need to know. So who booked you, this guy? Safe our toy company. What do they do? We, um, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely. Oh wait, I should I, I should put a filter on your voice for for her as well. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I'd kid about something like that? Uh. uh you mean that if I turn around, I see dogs? Why is everyone like racist? What? Does nobody like yeah. dogs in this house? I guess not. Yeah. Didn't you see them when you came in? I it, it just entered without looking anywhere else. The bar. You look troubled. Do you have I'm mental not... issues? A little bit. Too much of a dog p person. I even charge extra if my clients want it doggy style. I'm oh. doggy? You don't need to know. I'm gonna take this ticket and turn it in next week. I'm leaving right now. The ticket would have expired by then, though. She looks like she's the kind of girl that will, that will hold you to your promise regardless. Is it that obvious? Well, I have to gather the cabs outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. Don't think I will. You are oh. horrible. All 
All right, sirs. Your night is over. You have kennels you need to return to. Oh my god. All done? Yeah. Boss, how did you end up being booked by dogs? They were just so cute. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I need some I need some dogs myself. Huh. And you told me we're booked the whole weekend, right? That's right. Uh please bear with it. We're all doing our parts after all. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. Oh god, it's more dogs. More it's gonna dogs? be more dogs. Good evening. What the dog's doing? Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? Ah, uh, No. Did you see that one dog we called Dragonfucker? I thought that were pretty cool. <laughs> they were not. No. That attitude won't make things easier for yourself. Serving dogs won't ease things either. Have you heard anything from Gil? Nope, but he should be having fun wherever he is. Flat, uh, cut to cut to Gil, he's being shot at. <laughs> yeah, he's like, ah! He's in a gang fight. <laughs> also, did you know we had darts here? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because that's the kind of stuff you should just assume. Assume? Assume he makes an ass out of you and me. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, you're right. A target board usually comes with a set of darts. Do you like darts, boss? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -hmm. Anyways, call me if you need anything. Oh, sure. Well then. Oh, more songs. Uh, yeah. Did, did we even get through the last playlist? Mm -mm. Okay, let's do a... Can I reset? Oh, I could just switch things around. Here, we'll just uh, move everything up. I guess this works. Time to make drinks and change lives. Oh shit, woman. Uh. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey there, can I get the big V up, please? Thank God, a human. What are you, racist? I can hear your thoughts. <laughs> oh, God. Sure, coming right up. Let's give her a big beer. A uh, big beer. Two, oh, so double it in the same one, or? Yeah, yeah, double it and it makes Two it aldehyde, big. four bronze extract, two, three, two powered four. delta, two, four flanner. One, two, three, four. Eight karma. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, All big. Eight. Mix? Mm -hmm. That's a big beer. Here. Thank you. May I ask what you do for these dogs, miss? Um. Beatrice, but everyone calls me Betty. And why do you need to know that? If you've been stuck with dogs all day, you'd also be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm their veterinarian. They're all your clients? Yeah, company issued vet. Why does she have like a... What is it called? A... Oh, what is it called? <laughs> like a suit jacket, but only, like only half of it. I don't know. I mean, I have my own office. Well, it's in their building. So you're Buddy the Vet. Oh, cram it. Sorry, not in the mood for puns right now. I'll keep it in mind. Anything else I might need to avoid bringing up around you besides puns? Enhancements. But that's hard to shove into a conversation in the first place. So, uh, what so enhancements do you do? Yeah. <laughs> Noted. What do you have against enhancements, anyway? They're unnatural. They go against the very idea of hate human evolution. Hmm. There's like a certain, well, wall that humans can't cross without their enhancements. It's not like having something replaced will automatically make you an expert in things. If anything, getting an enhancement sets you back until you get used to it. Yeah, but that just makes things too easy on paper. 
Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But you have a point. Skill doesn't ship with enhancements. At least, not yet. Sorry for the outburst. I... My story with enhancements. Oh, I don't mind. It's way more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs. Was it you racist? Um, sorry. A little. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's my job right now. Do you want another? I'm fine for now. Call me if you need anything. Sure. It doesn't Warm get any better. Mm -hmm. This is like the, the, the same name, just dip, phrased differently. Mm. Hey, have you seen Red Dot? I've seen many things in my life, but a Red Dot? Not today, no. Would you like to have, do you have any drinks? Red drink? Yeah, the drink that I might know something. Uh, right. A red drink. I don't remember what red? these drinks look like. Bleeding game? Mm. I mean, you want to try it? One, uh, one Bronson. Uh, I mean, we could just like scrap if it's like yeah, not red. Yeah, three powder, three flanner, all blended. Three flanner, all blended. Blended. Mm -hmm. Would yeah, you consider that red? Three. All right. I mean, yeah. it has, it's called bleeding Jane for a reason, you know. Mm. Here. You're gonna tell me where that red dot went or I'll drink you. I'm not bluffing. I'll drink you all up. <laughs> oh gosh. Bangkok bastard. That's, who named these dogs? It doesn't get better. That was damn Oh my god, they're you. racist. <laughs> that was damn Pomeranians. They think you're just come and take our jobs. <laughs> Excuse me? We've been getting some serious media attention because the company only hires corgis. Must be slow news days. But you know what I say? It's good that we don't hire anyone else. I'm fu those fucking punks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we don't need any more races, Randy. I worked I... up. <laughs> oh my god, it gets worse. Next thing you know, they'll be asking us to hire cats. Wouldn't other races bring new skills to the company? Shut up! What do you know? Now give me a bad touch! <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. A b -b bad touch for the dog. Oh yeah, she can't help but laugh when being when serving a bad touch, because she's that mature. <laughs> oh. On you. Two Bronson extract, two powdered deltas, two flanner, four carbo. All on rocks and mix. Rocks, mix. Bad touch coming up. Here. Racist. <laughs> that was fucking hard. Racist dogs. What are the odds? <laughs> Wasn't she just racist for a little bit? Nah. -uh. Just curious. Wait, if I can't tell the difference between them, does that make me a racist too? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Would it matter if you're racist against racist? Bartender, please stop dozing off. I need booze. I'm sorry. What can I get you? I'll have a Zen Star. Sure. Zen so Star coming wants right a Zen up. Star. For each gradient, all in rocks and mix. Do I need to drag them? Oh, I do. Rocks mix. Rocks mix. Zen Star, coming up. Here. Thank you. Something on your mind? I never thought I'd see a racist dog. <laughs> hmm. Willing to lend me a... It's in the job description. Kind of. Is it? Oh. <laughs> Alright then, so you mentioned a thing about talking dogs. I thought... People throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking to animals. Never mind the fact they could always understand their body language. Now they could understand them... What, now that we can understand them, what do we find out? They're just very adorable little office workers. They might just be a tad bit racist, but you know, that comes with the deal. 
actually, scratch that. I have yet to meet a furry office worker with half of the charisma of these little guys. And I... <laughs> do you mean furry office worker or mm. furry office worker? I don't know. You've met furry office workers. <sighs> I've seen my chef the world bartender. So, furry... actually furry? It does. Sounds like you're just tired. It's freezing tick season. I am tired. So you're a tick... Don't you dare. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, this whole free bar thing is nice, though. I guess. It would have been nicer if we actually had time to get properly ready. What do you mean? I found out about the booking yesterday, as I was getting ready. Sounds like you should quit your the job. That sounds like improper work practices. Most likely, but who am I to judge? Did the client ask something? Oh. I'm so sorry, I didn't realize. <laughs> I impressed with her. I'm so sorry, the text just screwed over. That's crazy. My boss didn't specify anything. All she said to me was pretend like it's any other day. So like, a day with dogs? That was a screw up on our end, sorry. They just booked late, asshole workers. Mm. I mean, asshole, uh, not asshole workers, asshole company. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find out they got a place. You weren't very good. <laughs> Why all the sudden plans? Do they forget their anniversary or something? We found a place, but the cardigans were the ones that hired it. What? The other dogs. And some stupid arguments arose, and the cardigans decided they didn't want to have a Pembroke. Any Pembrokes at a party. They make their own. Oh, they separate parties. Oh. I swear to do God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, these dogs are like annoying little suburban kids. What are these cardigans I keep hearing about? Oh, just another kind of corgis. Except with different color fur colors and a slightly different attitude. So racist? Uh -uh. All of this is so silly. I've seen dogs play with cats, dogs play with other dogs. Oh, that's me. And dogs mating with dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mimicking their owners. Oh. 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 Huh? Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that. I'm gonna pretend I didn't read that. I mean, that's the reason they're at the bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on the Pembrokes didn't exactly help. <sighs> well, if you excuse well, me... Oh, that's you. What? Well, if you'll excuse me, I have dogs too. Yeah. Hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah, do your job. Don't mind me. I'll be jacking you in the corner. Not you too. Some it's motherfucker came here already. <laughs> <laughs> Tortilla Pope! <laughs> I love Tortilla Pope. <laughs> oh, howdy, boy. Hello. Howdy, boy. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Um, you? I am? Whoa, thanks, buddy. What can I serve you? Hold on, I, I think I fucked up filters real quick. <laughs> Sunshine cloud would be nice. Coming right up. <laughs> this dog wants a big sunshine cloud. That sounds like Sun a pretty. That sounds like a pretty drink. Us. 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 <laughs> I guess. <laughs> you having trouble spelling there, Missy? Four aldehyde, four bronson extract, optional carmo, on the rocks and blended. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! I can take it. I ain't no pussy for a dog. That's why, <laughs> that's why I need a cat. Okay. Here. Aw, ain't you a cutie? Noopy doopy poo. 
Is, is the dog like <laughs> harassing you now? I think so. I'm pretty sure you're sexually harassing me. Courage. C courage. Courage. <laughs> the cowardly dog. Courage. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I need to compose myself. You know what I hate? <laughs> Give a guess. Give a guess what I hate. This palmy. VTubers, man. Get my fucking oh. nerves. What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man. Oh. What, you thought I was a racist? <laughs> <laughs> They're like lettuces that decide to go to the gym. I think they're all big deal because their leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't like them. Calm down, dog. Do you want anything? As long as it ain't a cabbage. For cabbage is not to exist. God. <laughs> I need to drink. Oh, I'll, I'll have a big grizzly temple there. I can do that. Grizzly temple. You can't. She can't say that! She can't say- she can't call him a mutt. Grizzly, G. Oh. <laughs> English major here, hello. Six aldehyde, six bronze and extract, six oh, power slow delta, down, slow down, chief. Six, two carmo. Six. Shit. Six. Shit. Six. This is going on- this is going on Jill's tab. <laughs> power delta. How much? Six. Do Carmo, all blended. Whew, okay. Here you go. Chill out for a bit, dog. Thanks, man. Fucking cabbages. Bartender. Why? Yeah. I, why did I turn to country? country? <laughs> <laughs> She's drunk now. Yeah. You got anything sweet? I actually We're turned to country. We're talking about drinks, right? Are you... <laughs> Are you hitting on me? If that's how you want to see it. Let me see what I can get you. And make it big. Do you like them big, Miss Buddy? It's not the size, but how you sell it. Gourmet food exists for a sole reason. Wise words. Just wants a big, sweet drink. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, oh, we can go by... Right, we can go by flavor. <laughs> <laughs> what, what should we give her? Give her a Brantini. Brantini? It's big, so 12 aldehyde. Jeez. Can I go up to 12? One. Yeah, I can. Uh, six powder deltas. One, two, two carmos. Two carmos. All aged and mixed. Aged and a mix. Brantini, serving all right up. Nice. Here. Thanks. You know, I'm curious for what the weirdest gliding you ever gotten. I wouldn't be able to tell you. There are so many kinds of weirds. Have you ever seen Dragon Fucker? <laughs> I have, unfortunately. Pick the first one that comes to mind. Well, there is this one guy that spent 30 minutes arguing with himself before ordering. That sounds like you! Oh my god! Oh, stop. Oh my god, remember she's when you served all those drinks to that girl that you, thought, <laughs> that you thought was real? No, 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 she was real to me. That's not weird. He came in wearing a velociraptor mask and wouldn't stop screaming. He left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Aren't those what they call scalies? Hmm. At least he left a nice tip. Like you guys. <laughs> Speaking of anecdotes, <laughs> can I ask what's your story with the enhancements? Why the interest? I told you not to bring it up. Because it seems like a personal thing. It doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. <laughs> when I was and honestly, old, when I, I'm really bored. Back in high school, <laughs> enhancements killed my family. Oh my god. Sure, I can entertain you a bit. Back when I was a college freshman, some friends of mine decided to get their hands enhanced. It was around the time they all started practicing surgery. They all wanted to all, all bypass all the practice they needed. And so they hired the shady character who would look supposedly that we would supposedly hook them up. I only talked for them out of it. The others went off with the guy, and their hands were chopped off. <laughs> this is one of those stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah, 
Four girls underwent the shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, and one was left an uh, uh, arthritic. arthritic mess. And the last died from the operation table. Oh my god. So, yeah, I'm not too fond of enhancements. I don't think that's an enhancements problem. I just think that's a, you should go to a doctor. Like an actual yeah. doctor. Especially if they're taken to, taken in an effort to avoid effort. This culture has become, of become better automatically with enhancements really gets on my nerves. AI. <laughs> that story sounds so familiar. Did that shitty guy have a bleached mustache and tattooed black eyebrows? He also talked using an electrolarynx. Have you seen him? No, but I remember news about the police catching someone who was performing legal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? <sighs> well, I guess I gotta check on the dogs and see if they're fine. Sure, I'll keep serving them booze. Thanks for sharing that story. Fucking cabbages! Yeah, mm. yeah. Axe. Aww. These names, man. Yeah. Hey, man. Have you ever felt like time is moving too fast? Tonight, I'm feeling like it's not moving fast enough. Lucky you. Well, they say that if time feels like it's going by too fast, you're having a good time. What well, can I serve you? I, I, I don't know. I want a bad touch. I want a bad touch. Oh, I want okay. a... I want a... <laughs> All right, fella. <laughs> Sorry, coming right up. <laughs> Doug wants it. <laughs> bad touch. A bad touch. Two broth uh. extracts, two power deltas, two flanners, four cambotrine, broth and mix. Rocks. Rocks mix. I want a bad touch. Here you go. Have a good time out there. Uh, maybe you're right. Thanks. I want a bad touch. Talk about it. They just ran out of names. Yeah. Bartender. Hmm? One brandini, please. Sure. Need a brandini. Six aldehyde. Three power deltas. One caramo. All aged and mixed. Aged, mixed. Come right up. Here. Excuse me, the beer's mass, the beer mass draft dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Nah, leave it like that. It already ruined the Brantini anyways. I'm a dick, oh. by the way, if you didn't know. <laughs> I ruined it. Phew. Taking a breather? Yeah, not like I'm that busy though. Fucking dog. I wouldn't recommend that. Anyways, you want anything to drink? No, some dogs gave me drinks already. I'm fine. Oh, all right. Say, bartender, do you like your job? Hmm? Why is everyone questioning her about her position? Yeah, what the hell? I mean... I mean... Oh, sorry. I mean, you're... <laughs> you're not like the usual crop of Ben Tedder. The guy who always making a big show at the disco or rave party. Why does everyone keep saying that? Ahem. Hey, why are you working as a veterinarian? If you want to change the subject, you can always just say so. I just did. Fine. I'm a veterinarian because if I don't do it, who will? I don't trust other vets, and I don't feel like they're actually cut for uh, uh, they, they actually are cut for the job. So I took it upon myself to do it. That's quite the ambition. Speaking of ambition, did you start working here because this is what you wanted since high school or something? I wanted to be That's an alcoholic when I grew up. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. That's a whole new can of worms I don't open, but no. Life just took me here, basically. Why the Western? I thought we were exchanging life stories with each other. I was also thinking about the whole risk versus reward thing. These dogs made an offer just as I graduated. Something, and I wonder if I had been better off taking bigger risks. You know, the whole safe position versus big bet kind of deal. If you're comfortable with the opportunity you've been given, dig it. If it's something that's just been bothering you for a while, scratch that itch. Wow, you should be a counselor. You're like a therapist of sorts. For a bartender. <laughs> nah, it's just cheap advice. Damn, if only therapists were this cheap. 
<laughs> Try going to a bar. <laughs> well, I have to take care of the dogs. Excuse me for a bit. Actually, we're about to leave already. No, really. Yeah, thank you for everything. Don't worry. Thank dog. Ugh, I mean, God. God. God damn it. Ugh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Done for the day, I'm guessing? Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think is a stunt? We have a health inspector? Hmm. The health inspector is way too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'll assume he's fine with it. Right. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. I love dogs. I love dogs. <laughs> so, I'll just call it a day here. Thank you for your hard work. I and love dogs. Days. I love dogs. Good evening. My lady. Look, bum boss. There's so much cum in the corner. <laughs> Starting tomorrow, there'll be no more corgis in our bars. Why wouldn't I be sad? Oh, I thought she was like, we can't have corgis here anymore. We can't. <laughs> I'm sick of them. Maybe because starting tomorrow there will be no cor no more corgis at the bar. I wonder if the Shiba Appreciation Society might be interested in booking us. One problem at a time, boss. Wait, I know someone from the Pomeranian Development Institute. Jesus Christ, so many dog ran companies. One problem at a time. So, you've been tense ever since Friday. Are you worried about Gil or something? Uh, yeah, he <laughs> sent me a text of him in the hospital bed saying, I live, bitch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that's referencing. <laughs> Trust me, all my worries, Gil is at the least of them. Put on some music and enjoy the day, won't you? Right. Is there any way to reset the music? Shit. Uh, we'll just run it, I guess. Uh... Uh, what do we have? All system go. Oh. I, I can't switch it? Oh, it's in the playlist already. <laughs> I'm not struggling. You're struggling. Yeah, sure I am. Uh. What? It's not in the playlist, though. Fuck it. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Yeah. Bartender, oh, hold on. Bartender, we meet again. Oh, Miss Buddy. Oh shit. Oh, oh shit. shit. I got a dual wield. I got a fucking dual wield. Hello. And Mr. Corgi Lover. Call me Deal. Deal. Yes, Deal. Deal. What that satisfied look off your face, you two? <laughs> <laughs> what can I serve you today? I'll have a beer. I'm not the designated driver today, so give me a fringe weaver. We All right, coming right up. Fringe okay. weaver and one beer. Okay, let's see here. Beer. Okay, give it to me. One aldehyde, two bronze and extract, one powered delta, two flanner, four carmo, all mixed. That's one, and then what's the other one? Fringe? Fringe. What, one aldehyde, nine carmotrine, all aged and mixed. Aged, mixed. Jesus Christ, he was like, I can't drink. And then comes back two days later, I'm gonna fucking. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yank it out. Mix? Yeah. Okay, serve. Here. Thanks. Thank you. You seem distracted. Has serving so many dogs finally gotten to you? This is gonna, no. <laughs> this is gonna well, be so fun. Yeah. But it's not that. My boss been acting weird since Friday. Weird how? Romantically weird? Drug addict weird? Let's hope nobody finds oh the body God. in the fr fridge weird? For starters, there's the fact she told me we were being booked moments before we opened. 
Plus, she seemed completely distracted or lost in her thoughts. Like you. Worse. Oh. She's not being herself, and that makes me wonder if something's going on. Like what? Do you run a human trafficking ring in the basement? No, we don't have a license for that. You need a license for that? Oh, well, thinking about it too much is not part of my job. Can I ask you something about your job? Sure. Now, now I'm British. I've always <laughs> been curious. What does the BTC need for the inner bartenders? What do you need to study? They train you from scratch, so you don't have to study anything beforehand. What does the training involve? It's a lot of etiquette and regulation work. Most of our time, though, is actually spent in simulations. Simulations? Different scenarios involving different chemical hazards, that sort of thing. They want you to be able to respond to every possible situation that might come up involving your ingredients. So, Crazed Maniac comes, to, comes into the bar with a gun in hand, whips out his wang, starts spinning around. What do you do? Give them Karmatrine. <laughs> Is that really the group? <laughs> Is that really the thing you should do? <laughs> I mean, the chances for failure are really slim, but it's better not to take those chances. I see. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I must attend to the other clients. Dogs. That. Oh, sure. Mr. Puff! Finally! Sp SpongeBob's driving teacher was married! <laughs> Hold on. They're chasing me, man! Who? The cabbages, man! The goddamn cabbages! They're everywhere! They're out from my rump! You're... never mind. Can I get you anything to calm down? A big blue fairy would do nice! Okay then. This dog wants a big blue fairy. <clears throat> that sounds like an innuendo. Yeah. Eight aldehyde. Two flanner. Optional two, Carmo. Two flannel. Two flanner. Two flanner. Optional. Optional. Yeah. He needs to call All down. aged mix. What do you think is the is, is the play here? Yeah, sure. Fuck it. Fuck it. Okay. Well, oh God. Wait, you said fuck it. I mean, okay, mix. Here. Thanks. Very nice of you. Hmm. It's the same dog, different name. Third bark day. That's racist. What? Yeah. <sighs> they're different dogs. Something the matter. Nothing. I drink cats off. I'm not sure about that, but it's hardly my job to preach, to preach sobriety. What do you want? Give me a gut punch. Okay. What? <laughs> Bro's like a fucking haymaker. Gut punch. Gut punch. Five bronze and extract, one planner, optional camo, all aged and mixed. Age. Was he depressed? I think I think we could stove off the alcohol. Yeah. Here you are. Thanks. Hey, you ever feel guilty about being born in the wrong race? What? What is up with these dogs and race? The what now? I've just been hearing so much about how we're racist and I'm one. Are you racist? Not really. Do you feel like other corgis might be? Definitely. I mean... Then why worry? It's not like they're calling you racist. You shouldn't take generalizations personally. You might be right. Man, you should have seen the cutie I saw yesterday on the way home. <gasps> she looked like a cat boomer. She's wearing a mini dress and had this prosthetic eye. I thought she was against enhancement. Oh wait, prosthetic is not enhancement. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fucking stupid. I thought you were against uh, against people using prosthetics. I'm not against mm. cute though. Wait, what? Okay. No. Besides, I'm not against prosthetics. I'm against enhancements. I don't see the difference between the two. All right, let me put it this way. If you lost an arm and replaced it with a mechanical arm, does it exactly... That does... 
that does exactly what the older one did, I'm okay with it. But if you lost your arm and replaced it with a gun-loaded super arm from hell, that's something that I'm not okay with. Even worse is you decided to replace your arm because of fashion or whim or to be better at some sport. That's completely not cool. That's the difference between a prosthetic and an enhancement. Replacement versus, uh, enhancement. I'm not... I'm of a similar opinion of Lilim replacing their factory parts for kids. If you think you're going to be an easy way of getting better at something, you're in for a surprise. Well, I can, I can see why you think that. But what suggested to you... What suggested to you that what she had wasn't an enhancement? If she had bad eyesight, wouldn't that count as an enhancement, even if it fixes it? How does reparative work factor into your ideologies? They might be enhancements, but they also replace something faulty. Well, uh... Damn it! Stop making sense! You piece of old scrap! Can she say that? Mm -hmm. You're weakening my resolve. Having fun. Oh, bartender. That was fast. There seems to be lots of dogs out today. At least, dogs that want to drink. Yeah, at some point. Wait, some of them ate their tickets. Wait, Annie, I'll be right back. I'm getting a call. Oh, no worries. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll get a water then. Microwaving a burrito. Okay.
I'll just microwave it for three minutes. Did you get some snacks? I feel like... <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I had breakfast before. Okay, I got some, like, French toast goldfish and a French. Gro oh, Grover-based okay. organic biological sunny day snack bar. Hmm. All right. Hold on, one second. Open up. Check. Open up window project. Good. All right. All right. All right. Back to the game. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me just take a bite. Yeah. Mm. That bridge is gonna wait. It's been frozen, so. Hmm. Ah, lovely. I'll be the one dealing with that later. Say, what's your take on the whole enhancement discussion, bartender? My mom had a saying, any- Oh, that's you. <clears throat> My mom had a saying, anyone anyone can make a chandelier out of their asses. Huh? Which somehow means your body, your choices. Huh? Mm hmm If they're not hurting anyone, I don't see the point in hating them. So I can hate anyone I want? Hmm. Did I get that completely wrong? Nope, that's right. See Betty, I see Betty. Hey, I didn't say I automatically hate anyone who has enhancements. Me being against something isn't the same as being against someone. I'm not some 12 year old blindly hating on someone because of something, something like that. That's me, that's me. I love hating, I love God. hating. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe you should practice what you preach. What does that mean? I fear retaliate. I fear retaliation, so I'm not gonna say another word. Are you two gonna order anything? I'm fine right now. She's drinking mine, actually. All right. Call if you need anything else. Cutest couple. Make them kiss. You know, right? Sure. Let's see. Ow! So much for avoiding retaliation. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I can't anymore, Dad. I can't. You're not gonna believe me! <laughs> I was in the bathroom, and this other dog was looking at me from the top of the sink! You mean the mirror? No! Another dog! I see. What can I serve you? You're not gonna do anything about the other dog on top of the sink? I'm sure he doesn't want to hurt anybody. Don't worry. I hope you're right. Well, I want something real sweet. Coming right up. This pup wants something sweet. Uh... Let's see here. What do you- what do you, what do you think? Sugar rush, sugar rush, sugar rush, sugar rush. Okay. Two aldehyde, one powder delta, optional caramel, all mixed. Uh, he can calm down a bit, right? Mm-hmm. Just a bit. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. just a little. Just, just a bit, yeah. Just a bit, just a bit. A little bit. Just a little, maybe a little bit more. Uh, Would a little bit more hurt? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know what the heck? You know what? Since we're already there, we might as well top them off, you know? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Can we add more? No, we can't. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks. Please think about the, please think about the thing with the other dog on top of the sink. I will. Don't worry. Well done. That was quick. Like I said, there are too many dogs today. When I heard someone booked us for three days, I expected more of an attendance. While you were gone, this fella had said about the bleeding Jane is better than the power driver. Please prove him wrong. All I'm saying is that I don't see the point in drinks that make that feel more like a kick in the mouth than a beverage. What do you think, bartender? Do you think there's any point discussing non-alcoholic drinks in a bar? In my opinion, people who order a bad touch always make me giggle like an idiot, though. That's not an opinion. That's a statement. 
Oh, well, please service <laughs> either pile drivers or bleeding chains. We'll let you decide which one's better. Coming right up. Pile driver and or bleeding chain. Two of any of those. We can have like a, a mix and match, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, pile driver. Let me know. Three Bronson extract. Three finer guide. Four Camatrine, all mixed. Perfect. Next one is Bleeding, Bleeding Jane. Jane. One Bronson Extract, three Powered Deltas, three Flanner, all blended. Three Flanner, all yeah. blended? All blended. Uh, wait, is this non alcoholic? Yep. One Pile Drive and a Bleeding Jane coming right up. No fighting this way, right? Wow, you're quite a softy. Just kidding. Why show us? No complaints here. How did you two end up discussing that? Well, it all started when I told this guy that I wasn't crazy about the idea of working for corgis. Why don't you like corgis? They're cute and fluffy and funny and they just, like, make you smile. This guy's drunk. Tell me one interesting thing about them. Like, legend says they were created by a fairy and their breed was raised by... Fight dragons. Yeah. Oh, you've got to be kidding. No, actually, I heard that one too. Have you really? Are you fucking gaslighting her? Mm -mm. Oh, really? Still, I can see why you're so tired of them. I can't see why you're so tired of them. Don't know. Maybe because I only ever deal with them at their worst. You've only seen them in their happy state. I'm the one running feces samples and unclogging their. Sp Sphincters when they eat their own dental floss. I might be their veterinarian, but they treat me more like a mom and not in a good way. It's like being a gynecologist. After a while, you stop seeing boobs and vaginas, and said all you see are issues you must fix. At least they're cute issues. Depends. A gynecologist can pick their clients by age or preference. I was talking about your job. Oh, yeah, that too. Still, I don't think it's so much that I'm tired of them, as it is... I'm tired of being so obsessed with them. Ooh. I'm not obsessed. I'm passionate. You sleep with a corgi plushie and have a wall dedicated to photos you've taken at the company. He's so cute! I know. I'm really passionate? Your too much passion can become an issue, you know. Speaking of issues, did you talk with your doctors about the whole cardigan conflict? I was going to do that tomorrow, when they're all together. But I still don't see why I should be the one doing it. For starters, you don't take me too seriously. Understandable. I don't take you seriously either. I mean, in the end, they're still dogs. You need someone with a strong commanding voice. Are you saying that I have a naggy voice? No, not your voice. Just your entire demeanor. So I do have a naggy demeanor. I'm assuming you're talking about the whole race conflict. Yeah, this is hurting them more than you think. The company might actually collapse at this rate. Which is terrible, because a couple of these dogs' families are dependent on their paychecks. That's crazy. Doesn't that count as unethical and unusual treatment of animals? I don't know, I don't read the law. I mean, I don't know, I don't read the law. It's a bit of a legal gray area. The dogs are all doing it willingly, after all. And even if they aren't doing it willingly, the dogs aren't actually being mistreated or exploited. In fact, their company is pretty relaxed. Speaking of relaxed, how's Jürgen doing? He's fine. Still complaining about his back. Still on money to take his medicine. He says he's not that weak. Who's this Jürgen guy? My guardian. I passed the test years ago, but I couldn't leave him. That's actually commonplace, isn't it? Lilin being unable to leave the Guardians because they feel like too much family. Ah, that's sweet. Now what if they're an asshole? Yeah, right? Now, to be fair, people don't get attached to many things. Some even just get obsessed with inanimate objects. My grandpa loved his car more than any of his sons. The one who left all his earthly possessions to his car, right? Yeah, that one. How do you become a Lilim's guardian? You fill a form at the Artificial Intelligence Council. 
Then they do a background check. If they deem you useful, they'll give you an authorization. That's kind of uh, that's it's kind of fucked. Mm. They give it a week's notice before you give all before you. B- they give you a week's notice before they give you all the data about limbs you'll be tra- taking care of. You'll have to watch over it until it can pass three different personality tests. If the limb stays, wants to stay with you after that, that's your problem. So it's like adoption and lottery all rolled into one. They do that to diversify the possible outcomes. What does that mean? Hmm. Two limbs can be of the same model, but they'll grow differently depending on their guardians. What if, what if something happens to the guardian? A new guardian can appeal to the council, saying they'll be more fit for the position than the original. This happens when a guardian has become unavailable in some way. Or because you can back up the claims of neglect or maltreatment. You spit out all the information like it's hard-coded in you. I worked in that de- I worked in that department for some time before coming to the STC. It's almost a reflex. Are you interested in becoming a guardian bartender? I don't know. I'm just a nerd when it comes to AIs in general. The money they give you for it is not that great, though. It's not that great. I see. Well, time to check on the dogs. Money Shredder! Hell yeah! <gasps> Listen here, punk! Sorry, I, I didn't mean to call you a punk, it's just, uh... I was chasing my tail, and now I'm hyper control to myself! Sorry. 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 Just... give me anything. Alright. Doc wants anything. I wonder if it's safe to give him something sweet. What should we give him? Hmm. Should we give him a fedora? Ooh, fedora? yeah! Every drink here is priced out five hundred dollars. What? It's a free bar. They paid for it, right? You're all right. True. Uh. Yeah. Five hundred. Jesus Christ. Here. <laughs> this shit tastes like garbage. Ooh, that's better. Thanks, punk. No, see, I can see the value of other dog races. <laughs> We're back no. on it again. Like Pomeranians, those are nice, but they aren't corgis. Well, yeah, I can understand that. I mean, remember the cute girl from yesterday I mentioned earlier? Whoa, what is this music? What the mm-hmm. hell? <laughs> yeah. The white knight that was with her, she wasn't half bad either. I mean, it was obvious that the tapestry of those muscles were hidden underneath her armor. Oh, Yuri? Girl? Oh, shit. I prefer more delicate looking girls, though. Bye, Icon. <laughs> you, can, you can appreciate how something looks, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily your thing. And you, bartender? Me, what? Which dog race do you prefer? Oh. Are you able to disclose this? <laughs> I don't know. That's not the question I was expecting. Not much of a dog person, actually. Do you have any pets? Cat named Four, yeah. He just destroyed a rescued. Do you like rescuing in girls, too? Whoa. What? I'm sure I should be making a video to it right now, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say no. Weird. I've always thought that the rescue oh fantasy God. was universal. What? Why call it four? Four is a little I met some time ago that. Never mind. What? Pretty lame <gasps> name if you ask me. Betty. Better than calling it ass hot. I bet when you and four play. Oh. Okay, what? deal. <laughs> Jesus. I've been doing you for and for play. It's quite a sight, eh? What is this guy on about? Oh my god. Mm. It's my cat. He's so, oh. He's so lively. Sometimes I fear foreshadows my presence entirely. Foreshadow? Mm-hmm. Okay, may- maybe this. <laughs> I was like always wondering yeah, why. Put this in your essay. Bur- <laughs> but, so when they said foreplay and foreshadow, that really hit me back in my. You guys really want to lose consciousness that much? Okay, they are making those jokes on purpose. Mm-hmm. 
You really need to calm down with the whole pun hating stuff, Betty. But to move away from this whole foreground. <laughs> what is this rescue fantasy you mentioned before? This song is going unnecessarily hard for this situation. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? The one who wayward dangerous soul, the one where wayward dangerous soul redeems himself through the power of love. The bad boy who turns away their life for a crime, of crime. The drug addict girl who lived on the streets and turned tricks into until she found a good man with changing for. But he really said I can fix them. Mm. It's corny romance cliches 101. Well, you're the one with a shelf full of old lady romance novels. I don't stress you on this. Hey, Fabio the Thirteenth is in a nas is a national treasure. I don't even like guys. Why do you read all those novels? They let you put yourselves in the place of the main character quite easily. Even if the said main character is a muscular man, and super hot, and muscular, mm -hmm. and sweaty, oiled up, cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon. Mm -hmm. I see no problem. Just, what is your self-image? If I can ask something... What is it? Why do you hate puns so much? Many people cringe at puns, you know? Yeah, but you react like you have a vendetta against them. It all started back in high school when my friends decided to get a pun, a pun in hand. Oh, God. They made me feel stupid. Um, <laughs> what? When I was a kid, everyone in my house had a pension for making puns at the drop of a hat. I was the only one who couldn't get them. Years later, I finally got them, and they weren't that funny. They made me feel stupid. All in the name of some terrible joke that wasn't even funny in the first place. I've said this many times. I might as well just make a recording. But you need to chill out, Penny. I am chilling out. Just because I complained about stuff doesn't mean I'm not relaxed. I'm not sure how that works. Trust me. Um, when I'm tense and angry, you'll know it. I fear the thought. Anyways, I've got to go check on the dogs. I'm supposed to be their doctor, and they are being suspiciously quiet. They're all dead on the floor. Oh no. Did they found the even, darts. Like, fucking, yeah, fucking 12 Karmatrine in. <laughs> I forgot I spiked their drinks that hard. Be careful. You want anything else? I'll have a bloom light. Actually, make that too, please. Sure. This guy is an alcoholic. For real. I don't know how he's just staved off it. Or aldehyde. One, two, three, One four. power delta. Two planner. Three carmo. Rock That's it? mix. Rock mix. Rock mix. That, what? How did you fuck that up? Did you put rocks? I... Check the recipe again. Four aldehyde, one power delta, two flanner, three carmo, rock, mix. What? Four aldehyde. Oh, sorry, all aged. I'm not reading properly. Okay. Yeah, there we go. One powder, two flanner, three carmo. Fuck, what? Two flanner, oh. four, one. One powdered. Yeah. Two yeah. flanner. Yeah. Three. Four. Three. Carmatrine. Mix. Yeah. Mix. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. My, my bad. Yeah. Four. Eight. Yeah. One. One. Two yeah. flanner. Two. Three. Three. Each rock. Okay. Oh. Here. Why didn't he just ask for a big one? I don't know. Thanks. Say, you two seem to get along quite well. Well, when you're the only sentient human in the entire company, it's kind of happens. And, and you know, I'm quite handsome, you know. Of course, she wants me. <laughs> we we have a couple of test mannequins and cardboard cutouts, so. Uh, Seems like there's more to it than just that, though. Seems no, like there's you. more to it than just that, though. I mean, <laughs> even if you two are the only, <laughs> you're good, are the only ones of your kind, you can still hate each other. Well, I guess I'm one of the few that can actually stand Betty. She's a real nice person, but she doesn't share good things. Yeah, I can see that. You should see her treating those dogs. She becomes so patient and understanding, even when it's only for a little while. 
The dogs don't call her mom to mock her. Can dogs mock people? I don't know. Even it's for a little while. You were eavesdropping? So you could say nice things once in a while. You say it like I'm an aggressive, I'm the aggressive one here. It's nice hearing people say good things about you once in a while, you know? You should take your own advice. Maybe some other time. I'm not, I'm not a hug box. Anything happened? My dog in the bathroom got angry at his reflection in the mirror and charged into it. So, did we give that one alcohol? Mm. Luckily, nothing bad happened, and it just made the dog very confused. How the hell did they get on top of the things? They're surprisingly agile, even with those stuffy little legs. Oh yeah, I heard you do this. Ah, thanks. By the way, Betty, how's Veronica? Ooh. <gasps> she broke up with me last night. No! We just got relationship drama. What? So that means you're single? How is it with the voice effect? <laughs> I can hear it. Well, things are not going so well. We got used to one another. And everything was starting to become routine. We decided to break up before things got bitter. And why didn't you tell me that before? Why? Did you want to turn... Did you want oh to turn God, out the Betty Mobile? Jesus Christ. You ride this ride? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I just didn't want to trouble you. And after a while, it stopped feeling like it was something relevant to say. Uh, please don't do that again. Try trusting me. Uh, you're right. Uh, mm hmm. Hmm. You know what bothers me? You two should fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's that one corner actually in the bar. Yeah, you both went off to jack off to it. That was mm -hmm, wild. Mm -hmm. The fact that asking after someone's help always feels like you're walking on a floor full of glass shards. There's always this chance that the other person's not okay, or even dead. And what started as a legitimately fun moment can go sour. Yeah, you're right. Sorry for not trusting you, you piece of scrap. Don't worry. I understand why you did it. Hey, now that you think about it, you sure hang out with us a lot, bartender. It's been three days! Yeah, you come here every day since! <laughs> you're well, the only sentient! I know, I know, right? Well, dogs can only be so interesting, and besides, there haven't been as many dogs today. Is my presence unwanted? Yes, you're third wheeling over here. Oh fuck, okay. Not at all, especially like, since you're the one bringing the mobile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you're like those cab drivers. I like to chat all the way, but you smell better than most of them. Oh, thank you. Never mind, you smell like shit. Did the dog oh. piss on you? Hmm. Funny thing is, we are unofficially associated with the local taxi line. <laughs> Yeah, the ones that send drunkards to their homes. You really... You seem really, really like talking about your clients. Like it's the best part of your job or something. It kind of is. I used to sit around in a crowd of places like malls or bars to think to myself. Each and every person here has a story. So real. That's why you should go out there and talk to people you've never talked before. Ew. Possibly get kidnapped. What the fuck? It's a humbling experience. Everyone has your dreams, fears, and loved ones. If you dig deep enough, you'll realize that the gap between two random people isn't as big as you think it is. In fact, it's quite small. Is my cooling allow you? No. And in this job, you get to hear all kinds of stories. Some people just blurt it all out. Some do it while drunk. Why did she leave me? Why? <laughs> so that no matter how similar they may seem at first glance, no two people are alike. It's fascinating. You could be a powerful information broker with all that knowledge. 
<laughs> nah, not interested. Let's give myself more the friendly ear rather than someone need to be wary of. She she, she should have been a, a psychologist. Mm. I guess there are studies in folk out there. I'm not decent. You're critically obsessed with dogs. <laughs> I'll go check in with any other dogs who want something. Sure. Go ahead. Gruff bucket. Quick, a beer. Okay. One aldehyde, two bronze and extract, one power delta, two flannery skin, four comatride, all mixed. Nice. Here. Max! Now! Boom! Why did you break the glass? I made breakfast! Uh. Get it? Because you make the drink fast and I uh, yeah, broke it. Go. Suddenly, I understand the hate for puns. I'm curious if I had the sin voice on for you the entire time. Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. Oh? Oh well, that's part of the VOD now. <laughs> oh great. Don't worry, you probably sound great with it. Oh, I don't think it was on the entire time. I hope not. <laughs> well, it wasn't no. on the entire time. I just like switched no, no, no. over to you and I realized the, the filter was on. Okay, okay, okay. So, that could have been for a while. <laughs> Uh, 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 one second. Stream deck acting a bit slow. It's so hard when you're like switching through filters. Because <laughs> I have a fil I have a folder specifically made for Discord for Discord filters, and then a folder for mm. myself. So like I'm sw swapping in between quick, and whenever you go in brackets, I gotta sw to sw swap to reverb. Okay. Hey, Barenda. Yeah. <laughs> Your job has a funny name. I like you to imagine she turns country when she gets drunk. Stop. <laughs> How is she already drunk? She drank way less than she did last night. There's no way. Yeah, but she drank a bottle before coming here. Pre-gaming! Woo! Why? I wish I knew. It's an example of her alcoholic tolerance, though. Raw dance. I want you to make a toast with my good friend the robot here. Probably the only person robot thing that can set my yap in for more than an hour, half an hour. Without him, my job would be five times more boring and my life two times more meaningless. They should just date already. Mm. Cheers. You're not holding a drink. <laughs> oh shit, we're cutting you off. Then give me one, Ben Trader. Isn't that your job? I need a beer. A big one. All right. She wants a big beer. A big beer. A big beer. Two aldehyde. Four bronze and extract. Two power delta. Four flanner. Eight carmatrine. All mixed. All right. Cheers. I said cheers. 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 Good. Grumpy when sober and a sweetheart when drunk. It seems like she's been like this since her university years. You make it sound like those were decades ago. <clears throat> I can understand liking the taste of alcohol, but what's so good about getting drunk? First of all, I'm not drunk. You're too happy. I'm a happy person. When drunk. Hmm. Anyways, it's something you just can't explain. You just like it. Your body needs it, craves it. That's called being an alcoholic. Hmm. I prefer the term alcohol enthusiast. Anyways, humans actively look for things to make them feel lightheaded. Why else would they leave some poison and potentially poisonous foods all that weird balloon fish thing? Well, they leave some poison and potentially poison food, like that weird balloon fish thing. Why would they eat spicy food or drink fermented milk? Seriously, how crazy does someone have to be to say, hey, let's eat this and see what happens? Oh, yeah, I think we even found medicine amongst all that junk. 
The one thing that invented penicillin was probably the worst of them. Fair enough, but see, that's proof you're drunk. If you were sober, you would just say, hell if I know. Silly robot. Let me kiss you on your hot <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I didn't think about it. What kind of robot are you? Lemon. Lemon always sounds too feminine. You should be a le man. A le man. Okay. Mm, 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 let, me, let, let me kiss you on your hot mouth. Okay then, what matter of piece of scrap are you? You don't know? Never cared, but now I'm curious. Oh, well, you won't remember it tomorrow. I'm a DT-01D, a social development robot. Is that like a DFC-72S? No, no, DFC-72Ss are designed to be as physically human as possible in order to blend in with humans better. My line is more tailored for resilience. We are worth lilums. Well, I must be so cursed to only one destiny from the moment you're born. You can do whatever you want, silly robot. Follow your dreams. I know. I'm already doing it. Dogs, 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 dogs. <laughs> Being created or hardwired for one duty only means you're, you're more adapt to certain things. Giving robots freedom of choice? That's a whole purpose of the ADN law. Yeah, but, you know, you say you're resilient. Well, you don't look the part. True, I never upgraded my muscles, but I can stand up to 200 degrees Celsius without breaking a sweat. Jesus Christ, how does he know that? Lilum can sweat? Cooling agent, yes. Hmm. No matter, you're still special to me, no matter what kind of robot you are. Let me fuck you, let me fuck you. <laughs> Lilum. No matter what piece of shit you are. <laughs> oh my god. Speaking of special, how does it... How come it isn't legal to marry a dog yet? What? Oh my god, Deal! Deal! I was starting to like him too. <laughs> <laughs> she sobered up just for that. If humans are allowed to marry robots, Lilum, I, I mean Lilum, <clears throat> they should be able to marry dogs too. Uh, gender? That's me, I think. This guy here wants to bang a dog. Mock him. <laughs> Excuse me? I do not. I was just saying that if humans are not allowed to marry Lilum, are now allowed to marry Lilum, why shouldn't they be able to marry animals? Because, first of all, they're not humanoids. What about monkeys then? And now you want to bang a monkey? Oh no. I do not! And at second of all, dogs are just like many other animals. Can't give you co consent. But look at these dogs. What the dog doing? Sure, they have the cognitive abilities of a seven-year-old, but they can talk, drink booze, and argue. So now you want to bang a seven-year-old? No! no! We have a right to be here, so we'd be delighted to hear that. What? Remember Dorothy? Oh, God. Stop it. Remember, limb human marriages are only sanct sanctioned after limb and people sentience. And even then, they use marriage as a way to resolve the collective source. Besides, don't, don't really love us that way. Trying to apply human ideas like marriage to a dog is like... Like trying to feed vegetables to a carnivore, you get me? Says the ex-vegetarian. Why are you only so smart when you're drunk? Damn. Damn. I am not drunk. But anyways, if you want to screw a dog or chimp, go ahead. Why is she so accepting of it? <laughs> Just don't bring marriage into infants into the whole deal. Deal? Deal? The whole deal, deal. Deal. <laughs> but if you even start thinking about doing the hor horizontal mamba with a seven-year-old, please seek some mental help. Yeah, oh speak it. But I don't want to bang dogs or monkeys or seven-year-olds. Well, thank God. Then why did you suddenly start talking about dog-human marriage? It's just, I was thinking about all the dogs in tuxedos and... And I started picturing a dog in a bridal dress. I mean, just try to picture that. And I'm the drunk one. Wait, I'm not drunk. Why would I say that? Then again, when you get drunk, you only get dizzy. Do you have a limit as in a limit on how much you can drink before passing out? 
No, I just get disoriented to the point I'm effectively useless, but I never pass out. Maybe if I passed out, I wouldn't have to deal with all the shit that follows. I always have to wait at least 24 hours before the effects pass. One has to wonder why they give all the human flaws to live them. <laughs> I just learned something about that. It said that by giving Lilum the same kind of weaknesses humans have, they develop the same way humans do. So that's why they also bite their lips randomly when eating? Ah ha ha. Oh. Uh, okay. 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 Seems like it. Do you? Oh, bite lip like accident. I thought it was like a per on purpose type of beat thing. No. But it makes me wonder exactly how anatomically correct you are. You got a dick on that? How big your dick, yeah, boy? You check. That's something I know and you don't. Hm. Any of you want anything else to drink? Yeah, I want him. God. Nothing. You're drunk enough as is. You're not my dad. I can't tell- you can't tell me what I can- I can't do. Beatrice Albert, stop drinking right now. Damn! Oh. Whipping out the full government name! Yes, mom. Mommy? Now, go to sleep in the car. We're almost done here. But mom Go. <laughs> my bond. Bonitor, Bye, Miss Buddy. It actually worked. If I didn't know she wouldn't remember anything tomorrow, I'd be afraid to read Although, I'm curious, why do you call her Miss Betty? Makes her sound like a teacher or something. Etiquette? I don't know. There's also something about her that makes it feel right to call her that. Maybe it's the forehead. That's fucked. She had a little shine to it. I see. I see. Yeah, I'm not trying to like, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> well, I gotta get things ready. If you excuse me. Good luck. It's the same name, different! Wyvern Lover. Hey! We're closing. Damn it! <laughs> well, everyone's safe in the cab. We are taking our leave, bartender. Thank you for providing with such great service and short notice. That's my job. Um, you were interesting too? Well, thank you. I'll make sure to tell all, tell all our associates about the wonders of this place. Thank you, and please come again. We sure will. Send my regrets, Miss Betty. Gladly. I'll see you later then. Bye. All done. Yep. Seems like we got some new regulars. Mm hmm. Not, it'd be nice if they came back or and that we're still here when they want to come back. You've been acting weird all weekend, boss. Are you okay? Place is shutting down, brother. I am, but the bar is not. What do you mean? Wow, the music just chimed in perfectly. Well, I guess they have the right to know. The BTC sent us a message on Friday. Valhalla hasn't been bringing in much income these last few months. Which means that we're at the risk of being wiped off the map. And that oh, was the prelude. Shit. God, those fucking dogs. I can't take it with those dogs, man. They're so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna get my burrito. Are you gonna get some water? Uh, yeah. Okay, fire. This burrito bussin. Could use some hot sauce. There's like a whole egg white in here. Mmm. 
Yeah, just stuff that burrito full of ketchup. And then put in some hot sauce. Hell yeah. That's what we're waiting for. That's a lot of hot sauce. I didn't mean to put that much. Damn it. Mmm. Mmm. Goddamn. Mmm. So good. Okay, I'm back. Oh, I was just gonna get, we'll get go get water. Oh, no, go get water. Go get water. Get some chips up here, Sorry, something called sweet. Sorry, what, what fucking vegetable chips? Hopefully, they're good. Save them for a little bit. All right, Danny, there. All right. How did you feel about the prologue? Oh, that was fun. You really get to, like, I don't know, the characters are silly. We get to talk if, don't worry. Wait, you have you played this game before? I don't know if we talked about that. Nope. Okay, don't worry. We get to talk to more than just dogs and that. Cool. We get to talk to gay people! Yay! <laughs> Do you love queer icons? Yay! We this love game, the gays. Yeah. This game is best played getting comfortable, grab some drinks, and enjoy snacks. Drinking challenge. Every time we make a drink, we have to take a shot. Oh my god, you'd actually kill me. Oh, come on. It does, it's it's very long in between drinks. I think you'll be fine. Oh, the game's slowly fading. Good. Wait, Anna! Oh, shit. Why did it get very good? I don't know. You, was it just lighthearted? Voice? Yeah. Was it? Mm. Hey, over here. 
Boo. Oh. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of people, a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will be eventually close. And I'll admit it, my little prank on you might have gone a little bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% of how you take it. Stay focused and look at the bright, brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side is, but you should be totally fine with it. In any case, you should totally check out your pars that parcel you just got. See ya! Uh. Ah. 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 <laughs> oh. oh, just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door? Premiere, which means yeah. something. That's like beginning or something. Mm hmm. Yeah. Hold on, I got this. No, I don't. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck, what, what filter do I use for this one? Your membership to Shining Finger. What? Yeah. Your, your membership to Shining Finger will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure you have. Oh. Okay. Oh, whoops, whoops. That's a oh, cute that's home screen. That's cute. That's your phone. Yeah. So, who is that letter from? Nobody. Oh, she has a poster of her boss on the fuck. She has a that shirt that's a so slut. Cute. Our cat talks. Yeah. Four. Also, she has like that solid snake box. Mmm. All right. Add. A I can't add app. Augmented eye. Mass immigration continues. Wonder Wonderlanders are the newest threat. Cyborg and Heal returns next year. By Kimberly Lovellette. As Quincy reveals some new economic adjustments. With inflation rates among the highest in the world, contrast shortages ba contra con constant shortages of basic groceries and rampant violent crimes glitch cities civilly. Glitch City civilians look for a better life in many other countries. Quincy, however, isn't happy with this. They learn in our schools and universities that the Prime Minister said during the talk with the augmented eye, but they applied what they learned uh, somewhere else and I find it rather insulting. This comes to, uh, this comes after revealing new economic measures for the city, which most analysts consider to be useless for the current uh, environment. They don't know how- They don't know SHIT! Concluded <laughs> Quincy. Was that too aggressive? <laughs> no, I think that sounds right. You want to read the next article? Mm. One of the newest threat to security by Kimberly Lavella. If you thought Alice Rabbit was good at tracking the most complicated security protocols in the world, then this new group will certainly blow your mind. They've yet to make an impact as 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 big as Alice Rabbit, but they seem to be aiming very high with the recent threats issued against Prime Minister Quincy. We hold full access to Quincy's email network and we'll, re we'll release the whole database this January, the group declared during a stream. Shallow threats. One question, Prime Minister Quincy dismissed all the group's threats by stating he's not hiding anything and is not afraid of a possible leak of his email history. Maybe everyone will get to see what will get to see what kind of TV I bought last month. Wild parties. The people behind the Wanderlanders seem to enjoy dressing in all kinds of rabbit costumes during the stream. From Anthro to Bunny Girl, the purpose was to yeah. show the Sorry. love and, <laughs> and respect they have for Alice Rabbit and their roles in today's politi po politics. We want to follow their example while having some fun. We're not sure if this will go anywhere, but we'll be sure to tell you if it does. So Quincy's the prime minister. Mm. Oh wait, they have te little text for for each article. Would you leave? Not without you. For Can we read his, that? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. His acting is unnatural. I just don't... I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anyways. Cyborg and Heels returns next year in the Super Silver Thunderdome. The popular show Cyborg and Heels returns to the Dome this March, with tickets going on sale in January. Cyborgs and Heels is a massive stage show about cyborg fighting terrorism while wearing heels. Directive hmm. Quentin Hader explains Cyborg and Heels' a special appeal during an exclusive in uh, interview with the Augmented Eye. What's not to love with it? 
about it. It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. That's literally something we've never seen before. A niche market I'm willing to capitalize on. Check out the full interview in the next week's, in the next few weeks exclusively here at the Augmented Eye. Oh, we have a, oh, we can play literally anything. I think a gaze invited sounds good. Mm. Okay. What was okay? Oh, this was Umemoto. Okay. No app. Oh, we could save. There we go. There's a lot of save files. Uh, let's go to work. No. No. <laughs> I thought you liked your job. I thought you liked talking to people. Ah, uh, look the dog at the top. It's fine. I don't think we got to experience much dogs anymore. Ugh, good evening. Ah, hey there, Joe. Oh, shit. This is Gil. What? Was it Gil? Gillian? Hmm. Whatever his name is. Ah. Uh, oh, hey, John. <sighs> when will you admit that you have a John face, Gil? When will you let people calling? When you let people call? When you let people call you Jules? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's Boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff. And did you hear what I just told you? You said something. Yes, that you look distracted. Very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful, and... Oh, don't we need $800 for the fucking subscription My thing? subscription? Yeah. Yeah. There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Was that yesterday? I thought that was, a. Uh... I thought that was the dog thing. Oh, maybe... Yeah. Maybe yeah. the weekend came, and then mm. it would be Anna. Okay. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out that the bar is at risk of closing. Okay, yeah, it was. So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering four left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss front again. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment, and... Jill. Uh, sorry. Did you say something? <sighs> can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. Uh. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second here, okay? Mm. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar. In the recipe book, that will show up on the top left. Do we think we really need the tutorial now? No. We figured it out. You can also sort drinks by flavor, sweet and manly. Drag the desired amount of ingredients to their cells into the right shaker. You know what I'm talking about, Jill? Gil. When done, <laughs> Gil that went through the formal BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> Gil either wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or drinks, I can press reset to try again. Two aldehyde, three bronze and extract, five power delta, five flanners, three five flanners, three carmo, Mo rocks and mix. Piano man coming right up. Here, happy? Yes, very. I stand corrected. Now let's get back to working. Oh, yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh. Oh, and if the recipe says it uses optional car carmotrine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. I wonder what you did over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Optional carbamatrine doesn't count towards making big drinks, of course. Carbamatrine is the alcoholic factor in the drink, so it doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has the effect. 
If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster. So please be mindful of that. Will that actually affect? Uh, that actually affects people yeah. before. Yeah. I don't. I, whoops. You don't the exposition. Now I am. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey guys. <laughs> oh, but. Uh, who's that? I don't know. I found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her in here? Well, I was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body in here. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she makes up. You know that. That's for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. You just can't push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. Here. There's two of you. I believe in yourself. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> Do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be cr she'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like her to pick on such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. I didn't know she's small. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We'll just be, need to keep quiet, so she seems she'll be sleeping sadly, or not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you go to the bathroom. Um, come again? While well, we spent the whole weekend on Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Gil. You've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well. So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all that on my loathsome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine, that's no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the new jukebox. Smuggle needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with the song before it can start. I wonder what was the logic in her not decision. Should we put more relaxing <laughs> songs? Uh, sure, yeah. Okay, uh, who was I? Troubling news, the gaze that invited? Hmm. Umimoto. Uh, will you remember me? Everything will be okay. Uh, where do I go from here? Uh, those who dwell in shad... I don't think that's them. Okay, we can preview them. Oh, cool. Snowfall? Maybe? Yeah. Star pierces the dark. Add songs cool. by clicking titles on the left. You can remove them by right-clicking on the title or... Oh, okay. That's lies within. Dawn approaches. Oh, okay, good. Time to mix drinks and change lives! Yeah! Hey, you. Get me a beer. Oh, sure. Right on it. What's the beer? He looks like quite the big guy, though. A big guy, you say? One aldehyde, two bronze and extract, one powered delta, two flanner, two flanner, four carmo, all mixed. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. That beer was enough, apparently. Hey, we still got more. We got more money for that, I think. Here, you oh, took nice. the drink. Fuck yeah. Two aldehyde. Four Two aldehyde. bronzen. Four bronzen. Two delta. Two delta. Four flanner. Four flanner. Four carmo. All mixed. That wasn't right. One, ald two, aldehyde, four, two, four. Ready, wrong. Should I have doubled the car, car train, two? Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. Well, whatever. We'll do it again. It didn't matter. Okay. Uh, two, was it four? Yeah. Two. Two. Four. Four. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whatever. How about this one? Ah, yes. 
And that's one fit for a man like me. Right. <laughs> You're lucky I was in a meeting close by this. This hellhole could certainly use a person like mine. Although to be fair, work has taken to worse hellholes. Like Jersey 3. Ew. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> what kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented Eye. Hmm. Nothing gets published there without my blessing. Today started with quite the interesting follow, it seems. So, you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles in Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about the urban legend. Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their own goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny shit that brings in clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Like bitches and whores. Hmm. Stuff like cars, houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and her kids. For the kids! Well, for real, for the kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact that you write about the hacker. Just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news. Just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it'll help make them full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, you're tired of one article that was about a supposed hacker, but now all the daily stories about murders and horror stories? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. They do the same with the fucking hacker stories. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitchy City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt with a lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get dead... 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 People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started this job, it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy, a sick baby boy to get hit by a truck. That's yeah. not enough. They need full sob story behind it. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easier to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them for a while while they're hot and even people like you, e people who avoid the murder stories will see them. That brings in money. And like I said, money's good. Huh, well, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? No, I hate those brats. They just write about how they're better than everyone else. Oh, my dick is so big. Oh, my pussy is so <laughs> tiny. I can't stand it. They might like <laughs> it. Might think... pussy. <laughs> they might also write things about that like about what <laughs> they also might write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. The worst part is that they know half of our clicks come from them, and they get all d diva like up on my ass. I think you're being too harsh. What about. No, wait. I was thinking about the newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your pages are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique column. Um, uh, sh shit, forgot his brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's. That kid couldn't care less about his name. Anyways, this column is at least visited of visited of a bunch. Uh, is the least visited of the bunch, and he gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have a problem with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. He even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drinks, saying that he was a critic or whatever. Did he look like a fat child with a real small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyways, all this talk made me thirsty. Give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. A big beer? I suppose so. Do you think it, co it costs more? I hope so. Two aldehyde, four bronze and extract, two power delta, four flanner, eight karma. All mixed. 
so seven. So it should, so we should get nine hundred. See if this gives more. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, four fifty. Yeah. I guess he gave Here. us a tip or tax or something. Mm. Ah, that's the things that make life worthwhile. What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. So tell me, what do you see? Do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as the hellhole. Oh, for, if this place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it a hellhole. <laughs> I'm doing my best here. Thank you very much. Who was that? Not being important. Hey! Oh. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> Don't be offended by what I say, kid. It's insulting the building, not you. You can think of this as a small hell hole, a hole in hell, than rather a hellish hole if you'd like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least not that I know of. Why? So, so you haven't seen Hatsune Miku any <laughs> around I here? I wish. I wish. Damn. Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, and you don't see, and you, you and I don't see you, and I, I don't see. I'm blind. You're not making me feel special, honey. And a second, because I'm always up for gossiping, a uh, gossip regarding famous people, especially the red carpet kind of famous. Those folks, people, those folks, people pretend to love, but actually want to see them fall from grace. Pretend to love, fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? People pretend they love celeb, but when they really want to see is their idols torn down from their level. They want to see them suffer and get their comeuppance for da for daring to be so much successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but nobody wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They love it! <laughs> okay. If they want to skip their lives by living someone else's. Sadly, I feel to see the appeal in that whole thing. And what do I care if this guy is son of some random movie was wearing socks and sandals? They're dating God knows who. Granted, socks and sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind of always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers, this sounds hypocritical coming from you. E even if that's the case, I don't sensualize, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV as a human. Sensationalize is a key word here. Just the other day, I saw this committee judge bitching over what some girl was wearing at the store. No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea and that they're perfect and untouchable. Going through exotic locales, dressing in elegant, elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for the little moments that they make, uh, they make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Hey, that dude over there plays a nice guy and is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. Feels like they're ins instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, eh, brat? You should be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> Replace the fat kid in my, in my, in my restaurant <laughs> columns. <laughs> well, you can play that game of. Hmm? <laughs> Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab rat hell. I'm a lab rat hell bent on world conquest. Sarcasm wastes my time and money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyways, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? What did you like? A column talking about all those. I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched. Shit, that happened? <laughs> People usually tell me all of this stuff because they know that I'm a simple bartender. Personal stranger of sorts. We're gonna have a, you ghostwriting. 
We could have you ghostwriting. Have our stuff do that. I do. You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Uh, anyways. Eventually, the people from those stories will come to know it's me. Oh, will come to know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. He was my lover. <laughs> <laughs> did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or a boss. He doesn't like that? Boss he is likes just a... it more. He, li he likes being called his name, you know? Oh god, yeah. yeah. He's one of those people. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. Is it? Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. That gets my... Yeah! <laughs> They're referring to me, to the man in front of them. Not my family. Not my position as a boss. To me! I'm opening up a bag of chips with a, <laughs> with a knife. Jesus Christ. Are you, are you struggling? Sounds like you're struggling. It, I was struggling because, like, it was... It's not easy to pull out or pull, mm. you know, to peel open. Whatever it's fucking called. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gosh, no. But I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks. But rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone me. Everyone call me that. Mr. Donovan. Oh, shit. I dropped my fucking acrylic stand. I'll get it later. Mm-hmm. Shit, hold on. Oh, yeah, you were asking me something? What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I, need to cut, I need to cut myself off. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I need to wake myself up. I can do that. By flavor. Bitter. Bitter. This one. Uh, Which one's more should... expensive? Which one's more? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we gotta optimize. <laughs> So, Gut Punch? Oh, Gut Punch is- oh, Gut Punch is 80. 80. Bitter. Sunshine is 150. Nope. 160. Nope. Okay, okay so, one? Sunshine? Yeah, 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 It needs to be big, too. Oh, okay. Four Aldehyde. Four Bronson. Rocks blended. That's it. That's it? Okay, yeah. Rocks blended. It's gonna be a girly drink, I think. You think you'll like that? Who cares? Fuck it. Here you go. This ship, this ship, girly. Paint me blue and call me soon. You can actually do it. This will help me stay up late tonight. Is that is that how it works? I think so. Is it like coffee? Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call, didn't he call it a hellhole? I'll call it whatever I damn like. There's some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. I can see why. <laughs> These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know how lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. <laughs> God damn, you a lovely wife. Why, why'd they divorce? What? Oh, you're right. First wife. Those bastards think they're so important because they put their money in the company. Well, that's... I mean, you give me money so I can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you more money. 
But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff, put their dicks in all the holes. But what's good with it? But what good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do it. Call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff that I don't like. It's stuff they found offensive. Why can't I talk about my first wife's mouth sucking me off, huh? <laughs> There's always that one guy or gal who says, Hey, why don't you do that? And the other newspaper does. Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping the production quality up, but it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happened when the, what happens when I when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. I'll show them who the hell Donovy D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven though. We never heard from him again. I gotta be at the group. Yeah. Yes. What the hell happened in the bathroom? That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. Craft dogs, I tell you. You think the short legs would hinder them? The, the ceilings. Oh. The sinks. The toilet. The vents. Shh. We'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I... Okay, I gotta search up the voice again. <laughs> I'm fucking Donovy D. D Dawson ruined my voice. Holy shit. Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. I want to give him a gut punch, alright? <laughs> Ten bronze and extract. Is that One, right? Two ten? Flanner. Yeah, ten. Two flanner. Optional caramo, aged and mixed. This seems like a big drink. Give him one. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Aged? Do, do, aged? Yeah. And mixed? Are you sure we're going to get him drunk? Okay. I mean, yeah, let's give him a gut punch, you know? Oh, okay. Yeah. Here. Oh yeah, it. I was like 160. That's such a cheap drink. Hmm. You can actually do hey, it then. The other guy said the same thing. What the fuck? <laughs> hmm. This crack house. This crack house is a bar. Hey 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 hey. Hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and smoke soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come in our little crack house at all, Mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question, then, Mr. Ingram McDougal. Hmm. Terrible still. We're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. Why well, a bunch of dogs come and piss? But it's a Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant, regardless. If I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? Whoa. No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such a pleasant clientele tonight. Man, he's so nice. I wonder what he does for a living. I know, right? May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended this place to me, and I have absolutely no idea she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. Whoa, was it her? A regular cuss. A regular? Can I ask who? No. Hmm. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. That's me, oh, baby. Shit, Andy, that's, that's you, me. That's you. Hey, Joe. I'm gonna. Where did you put the dish so? Gills run out. Blow the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, customer. Good evening, sir. I hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? N no, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? 
I don't know her, but I do know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Garment. The woman who fended off a, a mall riders all by herself, knocking them out cold one by one. Fucking badass motherfucker. Damn. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things with her opening the spark, but that sounds... Do you have to know how she got her mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they all sound too fantastical to be true. Hmm. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out, take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved Class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Please? There's a word I haven't heard today. Coming right up. What's a pile driver? I honestly feel like suplexing him though. Eat. Isn't there a drink called the suplex? Oh, there is. Mm. Your choice. Pile. Three Bronson, three Flanner, four Carmo, all mixed. Our driver coming right up. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Do you want it big? <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? Have I ever? <laughs> that, that was Jill talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. This might be called sexual harassment. I asked if you ever fit to an orgasm. No stops, no stutter. That's the question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good it lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere, why is this going so hard? Sincere people can lie once <laughs> in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Does that mean you've really faked an orgasm? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. Huh. Still, that's quite the random thought to suddenly just have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? I'm cheating on my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. I was just thinking about making people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? Fill it up with carmatine. Car car carmatrine. That's my that's my problem, not yours. Give me a French reaver. Alright. Alright, let's give him a fringe reaver. One aldehyde, nine carmatrine. That's just mainly alcohol. Yeah, I know. All aged and mixed. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey, lady, have you ever felt empty? Empty? How, like, hungry? I mean, like, empty like there's a part of you missing. Can't say a particular we have. This guy has so much trauma going on, what the hell? I know. I never feel like there's part of myself that lacks something. There's to get or do something that just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. That motorcycle outside is really loud, huh? Yeah, motorcycling. Yeah. Sounds like a lot cheaper than the alternative. Witches. Bitches in alcohol. 
I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left my way through. I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy. Porn is more amusing and way cheaper. I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day for three years in a row. Oh my god. Nothing seems to do it. Um. Traumatized asshole, maybe? Yeah. Have you tried rescuing a puppy? We're bringing back that rescue fantasy. Yeah. You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. Why do we what always come back to people? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me. Or to believe me. Huh? I could be lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Like I would definitely orgasms. I would definitely I'm lie about orgasm right now. <laughs> I would definitely lie about hiring a woman to be my daughter for, for a day three, three years in a row. Years. <laughs> exactly four. Yeah. Anyways, I'm leaving now. This place smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Bitch. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. All right. Break time! Break time! Break time! 2069, hell yeah! What? I was so confused, I thought this was the, the in-game date, not the actual... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the future is now. I think some chip got up my nose. Oh god. That's it's so terrible. Rough. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Do you want to choose the music this time? Um, no. Oh my god. That one. What? Oh no. Where that one was. Is that not music? Was that just you deleting songs? Yeah, that's just me deleting songs. That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, just like, uh, just, uh, pick whatever. Okay. Um. Next. Uh, Drive Me Wild. Troubling News. Next. Umamoto. Going Next. with the Umamoto again. Um, All Systems Go. Next. Um. Hover over nighttime man maneuvers. Hover over Neo, Neo Avatar. No, next. Ooh, Actually, yeah, uh, that one. Uh, <laughs> um, Sin Stitch. Uh, next. Um, hover over answers. The answer. Hover over Dawn. Next. Digital Drive. Metropolis, Neon District. This whole page. <laughs> yeah, what's that? No, what's Skyline? Okay. Okay, sure. Next. Uh, Hard City. City never sleeps. Uh, okay. Okay then, back in action. Oh, oh, this is uh, not, her name's not, I forgot her name. It's not Sale. Uh, it's Sai. Hold on. Good evening. Hmm. Good evening. Mm. Um. Would you mind taking your helmet off? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I forgot I have it on. Oh, hello. Is this better? Yeah. Thank you. What can I get? What can I get for you, Miss? Master Specialist Sai P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see, I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. 
Although a cool drink would be nice too, but not cool as in great, and especially not in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow and I can't afford a hangover. I'm sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink, probably a cold one that's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Sm sweet, small, and icy. So, flavor, sweet. Mm -hmm. and then small. It has to be an ice. Icy? Yeah. Oh, right. That would make sense. Um, no. I, I didn't even think about that. No. No. Nope. nope. Small, sweet, icy. What? Do we. The moon bus? Yeah, Moonbass. On the rocks? What's oh, more but it has expensive alcohol. though? What's the next one? Oh, she doesn't want uh, alcohol? No, she's like, she doesn't want to get a hangover, so... Oh, okay. Preferably we stay away from that? Um, not ice. No, next. Oh, this yeah, one's no big. Man, no, it's only... So I think, the I think it is Moonblast then. Yeah. Okay, Six so... aldehyde. One power delta. One flanner. Two caramo. Rocks. Splendid. Moonblast. Here you are. Ah, yes, that's what I needed. Thanks. You don't get many white knights this time. I can only remember one other, in fact. No, it's dead. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you guys who deal with riots and stuff? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of the Blitz Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? We finish off the survivors. <laughs> to rescue and heal to and protect. We are the angels to soothe those suffering enemies to attack. We are the light of the hope in the darkest of times. The ones who assist the victims of crime. We watch it, we protect. You steal your moon, your sailor senshi? Um... What was that? Henshin! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of allegiance. We recite it every morning. I'm patriotic like that, you know? Mm. So what it means is that we're giving your duties mostly include rescuing civilians, we're healing the injured, protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one of them. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely yet to, uh, to a doctor. I'm also kind of a firefighter in that I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn, that must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet someone that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some sh shocking sights. Yeah, this one time I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down it and was blown away by how many pretty, uh, how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky off on earth. Oh, and there was this time where we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No, but those are sights. And they're shocking, right? Y yeah, but <laughs> never mind. Wait, did I miss here and you actually said size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest and longest, most frustrating size from people after everything and said it done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was, just exp I was expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm, something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. Classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Classy. Type classy. Nope, that touches too much. That maybe. Uh, That's a lot of alcohol. That's a lot of alcohol. 
Which I guess they all have alcohol. What? What's the most expensive? <laughs> yeah. So that's two fifty. Two fifty. Two eighty. But oh, that more alcohol though. Two sixty. No. Two fifty. I want to be nice to her. Let's have a Mercury Blast. Yeah, okay. One Aldehyde, one Bronze and Extract, three Powered Deltas, three Flanners, two Caramel, on the rocks, all blended. I haven't gone to a bar in so long. Hmm. Kind of miss it. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, she's just the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. Damn. I like it quite a bit. Damn, maybe we should have like chalked it, chalked it up to the fringe yeah, reaver. right? What the fuck? Say, this bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know, my name, uh, now I want to know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill. Hmm. Jill. Jill is short for Jillian. Nope, that's not right. Hmm. Jillian? No, J Julianne. Do not call me Julianne, please. Uh. Uh, sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. But um, why don't you like being called by your full name? Stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on it. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about aggroing you, though. Why? You better leave a big tip then. Well, okay, <laughs> let me pay that bet. Let me pay that rent. Plus, you look like a nice girl, Jill, and I don't like angering nice people. Hmm. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. Yeah, I love how it smells like piss and this <laughs> and dust. So. Yeah. <laughs> What do you like about it? The smell of dog urine. Is oh so God! <laughs> what? <laughs> My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school. So the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Um, what made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so I'd studied mes- So, studying medicine was kind of out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because something that happened while I was a kid. Doesn't she work as a paramedic? Mm -hmm. A white knight attacked my fr attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next. I just woke up in the hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean, it wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that, but ever since I felt this, this was my calling. So I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Didn't one of them attack your friend? Yeah, that's very interesting. Um, this is like opposing forces here. <laughs> Her friend became the villain and they were balanced out. One would think that being attacked by White Knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on the individual basis. Well, not to the extreme extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same to you. Why did you the Valkyrie corpse specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. That's also one of the least paperwork involved. Hell yeah! Mm, now that you think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad of a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes, rescue, assault, even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? Yeah, they do nothing. They just lie around and like talk about politics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up processes. But a few are signed when the company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. That's rough. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Facts, facts. 
I believe some members still work with the anti-bullying cases in an unfit, unofficial capacity. Good on them. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get- Can I get oh. you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. And besides, I don't really know m how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini? Silas. Brantini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a mad team. It's Brantini, trust me. I'll get you one. If you want some more, it's, sorry, a Brantini. Six Aldehyde. Three Power Delta. One Carmo. All aged and mixed. Brantini, come and write. Mm -hmm. Here, see? Huh, you were right. It is Thanks. my job. You know what? I think I'll bring a friend of mine here in a couple days. Really? Why? She loved the smell of dog piss in, so... <laughs> I feel like this place... I feel... I like the feel of this place, and I want to share it with her. I might... It might be a bit difficult, though. She's more into, um, classier places. Not that this place isn't nice, but... but... Don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. I see. But it shouldn't be too bad. I... Oh, what was that? Sounded like an explosion. I better check that out. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful. I will. Ooh, that's interesting. I might write that down for the essay. That this, like this, was it immersion sort of like having the screen shake mm. in case something happened? Yeah, yeah, that's a good storytelling thing. Uh, shit. I don't storytelling have tools. A storytelling tool, basically, in order to, like, you know, bring a narrative to life. Mm hmm Okay. Okay, so what was it? Uh, say day one explosion to immerse. I hope I remember what that note says. <laughs> she left her helmet. Well, it's coming back. I guess we'll hold of her. I'll go check on whatever the ever loving hell with that explosion was. Careful. What? Oh, she woke up. Well, where am I? Where am I? Good evening, and welcome to Valhalla. <laughs> that might have not been the best thing to say. V Valhalla? Am I dead? Uh... Does that mean that Uncle Ignis rambling about the afterlife looked like a shreddy downtown bar or true? <laughs> Called it. <laughs> afterlife? I'm not dead. As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Mm. Alright, then where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious- Whoa, whoa holy shit! Whoa, oh my god! Somebody, whoa! <laughs> whoa, okay, okay, we're just gonna know that. All the while still violating every- Oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay, girly? Well, I lay there twitching, don't you? Oh my god! <laughs> Are you insane? Oh my god! Interrupt me. Well... Oh, she's fucking going insane! Right. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get her a drink to calm her down. Or throw it at her face. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that'll calm her down. F Big Fringe Weaver! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that has 18 hits of alcohol. <laughs> uh, is there, like, a drink that's calming? Uh, I don't know. There should be, like, tags, right? Okay, we can go through them. 
Sour, classy, vintage. Bubbly, classy, vintage. Classic, classy, sobering. I was thinking Bleedy Jane. Maybe something with less alcohol, maybe. Mm. Girly, soft, sweet. Blue Fairy might work. Not maybe something... Uh, sobering. Soft. This one, make... Uh, go back. A couple of these will melt your tongue to the velvety. More of them, you'll be soundly sleeping soundly. I don't know. I don't know. She thinks we're rapists, so that might not work out. Hmm. Let's see if there's like something explicit here. Girly, sweet, girly, happy, sour, strong. Okay, one that so... tastes like chocolate milk. What, where? Go back. Keep going. This one. Tastes like old chocolate this... milk. Oh, we could probably do that. But it's hmm. a bit bitter too. Uh, we won't add any alcohol in it. Cool. Okay. Two aldehyde. Two bronze and extract. Rock splendid. Oh, what is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bars serve drinks. A uh, bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry. It's on the house. No, we're not getting paid. See, calm down. What did you spice it with? Rufies? DTX? Pumpkins? God, no. I wouldn't even think of it. I fucking hate pumpkins. They're the bane of the existence of the world. Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in my tips. Not to mention, I have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits to go to jail. And trust me, the BBC loves to catch anyone who commits the particular fel felony. They'd show themselves all proud for a hefty PR boost. And the thoughts going through is all that is just... <laughs> Motorboating? Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Jane sent you. <laughs> Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? Yeah, the two fucking cut. What the fuck do you think? <laughs> a hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Check inside the toilet paper locker. What about it? Oh my god! <laughs> How? Why? How? I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try on the drink. The bandage? The, the drinks. Or the, the tests. It says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with a clerk in that store. He even knows your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's the boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like the spicy chicken of ours. The what? And finally, I'm not making you a drink. I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed just on my part. Sorry. Yeah, it, it's your bad. I can't believe it. Mm-hmm. You can just ignore the drink. But it's ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Hmm. Are you implying something won't have the value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that it lacks the action the action the action will yield no difference? Eh? And what about drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I well, I'll let you know that I'm not an unimportant. That I'm not that unimportant, and your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. Go, 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 go. Oh. So how was it? <laughs> Too strong. Did you think this would call me done? Oh damn! Did we fuck it? Motherfucker. Um. We did. We, we didn't put any alcohol in it. Yeah. What the fuck? 
Are you all right? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably have reacted the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. Came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crash outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets, stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. Hmm. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but rather not talk about it. I'm mentally oh, ill. Yeah, I can tell. I'll tell you what, your drinks are on the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here, for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. Okay then, I'll take you up on your offer. I'll have a piano, man. Will you be fine? Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy this one. Coming right up then. You don't see you don't see a woman asking for a piano man every day. P. Are they the same price? Three twenty. Three. Oh, they are. What? They piano better man? be. Two aldehyde. Three bronson extract. Five power delta. Five flannards. Three carmine. Oh my Rock god. Mixed. Here. Yeah. This is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What? <laughs> oh. That's a story. What did he do? Y your dad, I mean. To provoke the pianist, I thought. Wrong place at wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing the bar and when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some says he was off his med that day and looked like some music critique that had bashed him. I still hold my stance that he got too excited. Jazz does that to you. <laughs> I don't think it does that to you. Hmm. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his what that had fuck? just died. Let's go. Okay. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said. Friend likes most. Oh, that's nice. So, this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work, miss? Call me Kim. I don't know if I could say I work yet, though. I'm still just she an She works intern. at the newspaper thing, because she has the eye and the article thing. Oh, I, I see it. Oh my god. Yeah. Can I ask Can I where? Ask? Uh, uh, have you heard of the newspaper, The Augmented Eye? Okay. You're, you're fucking on it. You're on the dot, baby. I read it every morning, in fact. Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. Damn. His gross funk. His, 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 I can't say that on stream, I don't think. Uh, that bastard leaves his reek everywhere he goes. So, you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. <laughs> Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people just have it done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work service maintenance. What? God damn. A full week passed before their pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it? The guy became a decent, decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ah! Why are you working there, then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? N no, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it, though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Everyone wants to know Jill's name. Everyone wants to be her. I know. Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point, I thought being a bartender. 
but I was afraid I'd, they'd make me wear some skimpy clothes or dance or something. Here we go again. Um, well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wants a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. W what with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all that. She is. She's so cool and collected, but has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a t bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're... When you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry, I got carried away. Oh my god, she's so in love with her boss. Oh, she wants to date her. She wants to... For real, for real. It was fun seeing you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that. It'd be nice to meet your this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Should I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh, no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late, and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brandini, please. Coming right up. She wants a brand, sorry, a mar- Ugh, brandini. Yeah, that. That. Six aldehyde. Three power delta. One caramel. All aged. Mixed. Aged. Coming right up, boss. Yeah. Yep. This seems like stuff. Cheers. Hey, Jill. Was this job like a, a lifelong dream or something? Has everyone been asking <laughs> no. that? Jesus Christ. Yeah, right? Not really. Kind of just happened. One thing led to another and bam, bartending. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julianne arcade machine. Oh, Julianne. Dude, she took me for a furrow. Can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for first. You never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly, or silly things are childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks, being a model warrior. Oh, childish <laughs> dreams, yeah. What? I'm just staring at each other. I guess. I remember <laughs> I wanted to live in a quiet pod when I was seven. <laughs> she had a long pause. She had to think yeah, about that one. Yeah, just thinking. Yeah, the fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So, no dreams? None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. So, I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I see. FINALLY! <laughs> Those dogs left a mess and I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? No, oh, a client. Good night, ma'am. Joe, uh, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who was he? A ghost. Nobody should worry about. Oh. I heard that! Good! Why are you asking Why? all these questions? Uh, because now that I think about it, I really don't have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many field attempts. Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that makes you change your plans. <laughs> what I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I I'm gonna take my leave now. Thank you for everything. Please thank your boss on their half on my behalf. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you and come again. And that's it. Are you done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Gil? And where's that girl that was just here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stink. 
Stinky. He's <laughs> Kim woke up, had a couple drinks, and left. She said her name? I can't remember. Yeah. So she's called Kim. How did she look to you? How, how was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, and but managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey, boss. Do you feel like calling you boss to impersonal? Can I get your number? <laughs> yeah, let's become more personal. I want to... Yeah. What can that robot hand do? <sighs> no, dude. <laughs> um, no, not really, no. It's not like you'd call me that because I'm strong or just out of habit. Oh. Anyways, you're free to go after. <laughs> you're free to go after washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payments. Maybe I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Yay! We get did a flawless it. Did service it. bonus. Yeah! Oh, we got tips. Yeah! We got perfect. Hell Only yeah! Only paid her for for calming that girl down. Oh my God! I mean, they okay. paid me. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not here. I'm I I am just the guest. Every single guest. <laughs> except Do except Dorothy. Your membership to Shiny Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. What's today? Okay, so it's going to renew in three days. Oh, we could go shopping? Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, we can just, like, decorate a room or whatever. Oh. Meet the staff. Beer on discount. Can we get, like, an arcade machine? That one arcade machine? Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, let's keep saving for that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, gotcha. We'll save it. We'll see We'll see what, what we have next time. Hmm. Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? I did have curry yesterday. What? No, then I'm reading the text on the screen. Oh, <laughs> I was like, how did you know? I mean, I don't think I told you, but yeah. Yeah, I just know. I just know. What's this D? A ghost took my money. It was Gil. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. We could save oh, it no, up it was fucking here. Anna. Right, right. Completely forgot she existed. She'll come back to us one day. Yeah. Holy shit, we're... Jill. Just like wear a slut t-shirt. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do? <laughs> yeah. If you, if you post it and then you at Sukaban Games, they might retweet it, actually. They do oh, a lot of stuff yeah. for the fan <laughs> stuff. Yeah, get yourself out there, girly. Yeah, yeah. Slut, slut, slut. Slut, slut, slut. All right. And I guess that'll be it for today. Thank you so Yay. much for joining me, Tim. Of course, thanks for the invite. Yeah, if you want, we can, we can continue this another time so we can like yeah. get through it. We'll probably just get through like maybe a day or two at a time because these days can get oh, pretty long. Show. And mm -hmm. I'll try to bring on bring on extra people to undertake roles so I'm not voicing five yeah, people yeah, at once. Yeah. I'm not like I'm not like switching over between the like like sweet country gal and then like the sto the stoic robot guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. And here is where we end stream. Oh my god, my my desktop is so messy. I have different things sticking out. I have chat in like one of my screens. I have like a preview on another screen. It's such a mess. 